Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of In the Hole. Today we have a fabulous guy. I'm so excited for today. This is going to be so great. How you doing, everybody? Welcome in, welcome in. Uh, today we have a very special guest. Actually, one worthy of one worthy of a song. Are we ready for this? Here we go. How'd you like my song? See, I didn't. I don't. I don't have the stream open. I didn't, and the song wasn't playing on the call actually. It wasn't. No shot. No, was it really not? It wasn't. No, it's I couldn't hear Discord anything. Thing. Oh, my Discord cut out the freaking music. Discord. Why are they such bitches? Hold on. Okay, let me see if I can do it now. One more time. Encore. Hold on. Uh, yeah, encore, encore, encore. How about that? Can you hear that? It doesn't no, it doesn't register at all. <laughs> hey, it's like you're, you know, you look like you're, you're wanted. <laughs> like you're like going to be put up like uh, for jail or something like that. It's light mode. Oh my God, it's light mode. Can I just say though, I, I actually like, I know everyone clowns on light mode a lot, but I actually use light mode. I, um, thank you. Thank it you. Because I'm the my, same way. My sight. Cause I actually, I um, you know, I I really need it. So <laughs> I actually don't think light mode is really that bad. It's like uh, it's like getting some sunshine once in a while. Like there's <laughs> nothing wrong. Yeah, cause we never go outside anyway. So exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the most sunlight we're ever gonna get. To be honest with you, so I think light mode is completely fine. However, there's yeah. some that I can use it. You know, I can use dark mode for just because you know it's easier on the eyes, especially like at nighttime. Um, I think it also depends on the font color as well. You know, if it's easy to see on like oh, the background. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, the the fonts and stuff like that, like uh, for Twitch in particular, like some of them actually mm. look better in light mode. Yeah. Yeah, it's just everyone's got a preference, you know. E exactly. For me, exactly. I like light mode. <laughs> so uh, it's been a couple weeks since you actually uh, debuted and stuff like that, and I'm uh, yeah. I I've been keeping track of uh, just your 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 streams and all the different things that you've been doing and stuff like that. And uh, I just want to say, like, how does? Oh, is that my foot? Oh my god, I don't want my foot to be in the camera. What, feet, foot reveal? Foot reveal? I don't. We want doing feet my reveals? Foot. Hang no, on. No, no, no. I forgot Hang to put on, on socks. I, Hang I on. No, what are you doing? No, stop. Stop. No. This is not what I wanted. Stop. I'm switching to Firefox. Do not show your feet. Do not do that. Stop. Toe up your shin? Is that toe up your shin? Oh, my God. I love that. Hello? Anyways, <laughs> so I'm sorry, my my uh, uh, feet jump scare. Seriously, bro. Um, but uh, no, I was I just wanted to ask, like, uh, you've been playing a lot of games. Yeah, I been like playing games. a whole ton of games, and I wanted to know: Are you an actual? Are you are you a gamer? Um, I'm like a casual gamer. I used to play a bit more online stuff. Um, like I used to be into like um, Star Wars Old Republic and uh, even as a kid, you know, good old Club Penguin have a hotel. But now these days I just mostly play single player games. So have a hotel. That's something that I learned about recently. Like that's a new thing for me. Uh, what is have a hotel? Is it just like another Club Penguin? Uh, yeah, pretty much. But you can, you know, like have your own room and stuff. I got scammed on there. Oh, like, wait, 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 how? Like, what? Uh, so this is, I was, I was very young and someone I met on Haber Hotel said, Hey, Aura, if you, uh, if you type out your password, um, in the chat, it's going to come up as, you know, star, 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 star. And oh, little, no. little me was like, oh, you know what? I'll try that. And so I, I did it. 
they hacked my account. They stole all my furniture. I got burgled, man. <laughs> I got robbed. <laughs> I didn't know that that was actually a thing until I found out about like uh, recent RuneScape shenanigans that can occur. Like people can actually oh. hack your account, take all your stuff because there's like trade. Was there trading in Habit? What is it? Habit Hotel? Yeah, there is. There is trading. There is. Okay. There was. Well, I haven't played it for years and years and years and years. I only played it. Was very small, but like. Well, it's trading, but basically, you know, you buy credits using, you know, your phone or whatever. Mm. Um, and then you spend the credits on the furniture and stuff. So I guess, yeah, I got, I got robbed, you know. Okay. So then uh, when it comes to, so you have a hotel, Club Penguin, and some multiplayer <laughs> games. Well, that was, Great. was really, really All right. young. But Give me some I real games now. <laughs> Give me some real uh, games now. Like, what, what did you grow up playing? Oh, uh, um... Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, uh, Crash Bandicoot. No shot. Kingdom Hearts? Um, yeah, I love Kingdom Hearts. You're a Kingdom Hearts Andy? Yeah. I'm so happy right now. We're going to talk about Kingdom Hearts in just a second. But keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't let me stop. Um, but yeah, like mostly mostly growing up, when it came to online games, it was those silly things like Habba Hotel and, and Club Penguin. Mm. But the only the only one I really got into was like, you know, that wasn't, wasn't like that mm. was... You know star wars old republic but yeah oh. i was i was very much a ps play well playstation um nintendo kind of growing up person okay. especially pokemon love pokemon love digimon oh thank god yeah <laughs> so okay so pokemon which is your favorite pokemon generation um what are we thinking Wait, are we think are we talking about the Pokemon or the game itself? The games. The, we'll, we'll, okay, we'll do we'll we'll go into it. We'll do like game first, and then we'll do Pokemon. Well, in terms of games, for me, I think Heart Gold was fantastic. Heart Gold and Soul Silver, they were phenomenal games. Oh. And then, uh, what else was pretty good? I guess you know. Diamond and Pearl, the original Diamond and Pearls had so many nice things from Ruby and Sapphire, like the the secret bases, the competitions, and you know, the it was a region full of different like uh parts to it. Mm. But the the remakes were shit. Um <laughs> <laughs> remakes were shit. The remakes were awful. They outsourced it. They they the nostalgia I have so many things to say about this, damn it. The nostalgia factor that Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire and Heart Gold Soul Silver gave us was like it's an upgrade. It's it's on par with the new games, um, but it's still you know it's the same story as the it, old it ones. It was whereas, pretty. It was pretty. Yeah. Cool. Whereas uh, uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, whatever it was, was just literally the same game just in 3D. Like you go in the houses and it's just you know in the old Pokemon games, which is like table, chair, sink, right in their houses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was just like that. Just like that. And um, it was it was just uh really not enjoyable. Like I I know that a lot of people clown on Sword and Shield, but like going into the houses in Sword and Shield and seeing all the little like stuff on the shelves, a little dog's bed for the Pokemon is really cute and wholesome. But Diamond Sh Brilliant Diamond Shining Pole was just a wop wop. It was a letdown. It was a, <laughs> it was it, a it, sad day to be was. a gentle fan. Yeah, I agree. So Sword and Shield, I I liked it, uh, but not like that much. I I like yeah, the no, only, I agree. It, it's just like a little. It, I thought the Pokemon were really good from. Oh that yeah, end. the Pokemon were really really fun. Uh, but I I like the Pokemon more in uh, Scarlet and Violet a little bit more. But when it comes to Sword and Shield, there's one thing that I absolutely love, and I'll never forget. It's the music when you enter the gym. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The the music was fantastic in Sword and Shield, and well, I mean, um, Toby Fox did stuff for Sword and Shield and for Scarlet and Violet, I think, right? So, I mean, you you can't deny <laughs> Toby yeah. Fox is you know amazing talent. Um, I will say my least favorite. This is a bit of a hot take, but my least favorite is Black and White. But hear okay. me out. Okay, Black um, and White. When you go, when you're playing, you know, you play all the games up to that point and you can carry over the Pokemon you loved from the games before to suddenly not being able to do that. Uh -huh. it, it's, it's, it's a bit sad for me. I, I, I felt like some of the black and white Pokemon, just, okay, it, they weren't great, but it's the only game, I will say this though, it's the only game where I liked all the starters. 
Okay, black and white? Yeah, it's the only game where I liked all the starters. In the other games, I I wasn't I, I always had like a favorite. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna move my, my phone. I always had a favorite. Um but in black and white, I genuinely liked them all. I just wasn't the biggest fan of the games. But okay. that being said, um, I still think they're better than, I don't know. Sun and Moon was awful. Like, there was too much hand-holding in those games. <laughs> well, have you played uh, Ultra Sun and Moon? I, you know what? It's the only one I never finished because mm-hmm. um, I got bored of it. I felt like there was nothing new added to it. And, um, uh, I don't know, like, uh, that was the same. Sun and Moon came out the same year as Pokemon Go. So I know oh, that's yeah. why they made it stupid, like hand holding, and so easy to. to well, navigate that's why they made uh, "Let's Go Pikachu" and "Let's Go Eevee." That's why they made yeah. those games too. They uh, were uh, good. They were yeah. good. Th- those those were like I mean like it's a very decisive uh, Pokemon game, mm. but I do think that it for a Gen One remake or a reimagination, I had a good time with it personally. I, I, I'm just a Gen One yeah. sucker though. I, I'm oh, a huge Gen yeah. One sucker. I liked so. I liked Let's Go. I, I any game that allows you to have the Pokemon following you, I will like. Um, yeah. Oh, and it, it, that was the best game for that too. Yeah. After that, it all went to shit. It all went to like it's the Sword Shield following wasn't very good. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh my god, the Brilliant Diamond one was terrible. Oh my god, it was it it wasn't it, I I don't know like they out, outsourcing doesn't necessarily mean bad because like look at Pokemon Snap. Look at yeah. Pokemon Snap. It was beautiful. Beautiful. But um, but. I know what they were trying to do with Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I know they were trying to play off the nostalgia factor, but they did about it the wrong way. Yes. Yeah. You know, the Omega Ruby and Alpha, Alpha Sapphire work so well because they're updated with today's style and graphics, but mm. keep the story and everything the same as before. Yeah. Whereas Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, as soon as I saw the chibis, I was like, is this a joke? Is this... Is this- <laughs> Uh, we, is this really the G, the Chibi Palkia <laughs> and the Chibi Dialga? Oh my yeah, god, dude! I can't even believe it. The Chibi character as well. I was just like, oh, uh, is this is this this is sh- shitting on me right now? This is not real, is it? <laughs> this can't be I was, real. I was not happy, but uh, in terms of my favorite gen for Pokemon, I I don't know. Like I I do like Sword and Shield. They had some good Pokemon, but um um. Yeah, we 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 have a lot. Ruby, of... Ruby and Sapphire is pretty good. Oh, you like that? Is that your? Is that your? Do you would you say fifth or or third gen would be your favorite? In terms of the Pokemon in them. Yeah. Oh no, I only like fifth gen starters. Oh, like, that's it. Them. So not... that's that's. Oh. That I had a, yeah, I had a tough time picking them. That's the only game where I had a tough time picking the starter. Can I be honest? I, I really like them all. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. Yeah. I think the fifth gen was the weakest starters. Next to Sword and Shield. Okay, but like, h- hear me out. I always have a favorite. I always have a favorite every gen. But when it came to Gen 5, it's not that I thought they were amazing. Mm. It's just that I thought I liked them all the same. Okay. There's a difference, right? Okay. I, uh, yeah. Fair. Wait, There's wait, a difference. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go through them all. Let's go through them all. Cause okay, I love go for it. Pokemon. Let's so, do it. So Gen 1, who starters, who do you like best? Squirtle. Oh shit! Um, <laughs> what? What, I, what? What? What is I your? Would, are you a Bulbasaur, Andy? Is that you? No, no, okay. I'm a Charmander. Okay, okay, red Char- makes sense. Charmander. See, that's cool. I like Char- Charmander. Is my second favorite. <laughs> okay, okay, um, second gen. I can do many impressions from Pokemon, by the way. <laughs> okay, do second. a do do a Squirtle one. Squirtle. Squirt. Squirtle. 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 I do. I do Jigglypuff and Togepi best. I think. No shot. You can do a Togepi. You can do the 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 the. Oh, do it. I think Discord. I think Discord's cutting you out oh, too. too. It's too high, maybe. The, yeah, there you go. That's that's a little bit better. That's a, yeah. I, it, I think I think my Krabby is pretty good too. I don't remember Krabby. Krabby was like. Oh yeah. <laughs> Some, some, something okay. like that. Yeah. Oh, wait, Gen 2. Originally, I would always choose Cyndaquil, but then after watching the show more, I really liked um, Chikorita. So yeah. I, 
Yeah, I felt bad for Chikorito. I never evolved my bay leaf, by the way. Oh uh, no, there's been so many, so many starters where I'm like, nah, I don't want to evolve you. Yeah. You're weird. And yeah. You're on, you're on two legs. No. No. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, for me, it, I, it's Cyndaquil. Uh, I think that's the best mm. fire starter, in my personal yeah, opinion. I love cute. Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil he's is so adorable. And Typlosion is so badass. I love Typlosion. Um, okay, third gen. Um, I always chose Torchic. Oh. Okay. Do you know the lore mm. behind Tor Torchic? It's a chicken. No, 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 no. So, Nintendo made it okay on purpose nintendo made torchic very cute and oh. made torchic uglier as it evolved well that because, makes me sad i didn't know this because it was supposed to resemble have you ever got like painted chicks at like carnivals and stuff oh no so, no i've never done that but i know about it Man. yeah so they would do the painted chicks and the whole thing was that the painted chicks would be so cute until they grew up to be actual chickens then nobody wanted them. So people that made Torchic in the third gen actually wanted to have people get Torchic, evolve into Combusca, and be like, oh, this kind of... And then Blaziken is super mad ugly, and then keep it in the box. They were expecting Torchic and Blaziken to be boxed. To, to be fair, I, do, I really do prefer Torchic. Torchic is, is, is as Torchic. Like, I, I mean, what's the second? Combustion's okay. Yeah. Blaze was okay. always a bit of a weird, weird one for me. But I did always choose Torchic because I just didn't. I, I don't know. I never hopped on the Mudkip train and Trico. Trico? Oh, yeah, Trico. Oh, Trico's yeah, was, good. He was all right. But I, I, I'm a Mudkip Andy. Yeah, I, I like Mudkip. I do know that. Oh, well, well, I'll tell you when we get to Gen 6. But, um, okay. Uh, Gen four was always for me. Piplup. You're a, oh Piplup. I love Turtwig. That's my favorite grass starter. Cute, and I love I you love know Turtwig. like it's it's the whole Discworld sort of thing it was pretty cool. You know, isn't it supposed to be like the turtle from Discworld? I think so. I don't yeah. know what Discworld is, but I do. I have oh. heard of that. Oh, um. Well, it's books. It's just books. <laughs> okay. It's it's books. Um, it's books written by Terry Pratchett. Okay. Do Do you know Terry Pratchett? <laughs> no. <laughs> Who's should, Terry you, Pratchett? They're, they're really good books. They're really. They're, he he wrote. Okay. He's written a lot of books. Okay. Um, Great. Yeah. So but then, one of uh, the things is about the this giant turtle with the world on its back. Huh, with the world on its back. Yeah. Huh, dude, books so, are So, like, weird. there's... Yeah, it's, it's, it's... I mean, my favorite book is Holes, actually. Wait, the one with Shia LaBeouf? Yeah! <laughs> oh, damn! I actually, actually did see that school, book in the I had to one. do... Yeah, I had to do a, a, a an essay about that book. Oh, okay. Holes. Yeah, I, it's really good. It's a really good book. It's a good movie, too. Yeah. And yeah, they made me oh, want to yeah. eat onions. Oh, well, um, they didn't make me do that, but, um, <laughs> I just, I really, I did really enjoy the movie, but I think Anyways. the thing that really made me happy with that is the, the free stories going on at once. Oh, there's like a lot of things. Uh, I, I don't, Holes is one of those like shows that has been shoveled in the back of my mind. <laughs> Shovel. And, uh, <laughs> 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 Get it? Uh, it's been shoveled in the back of my mind uh, only to be brought up in conversations like this. So I'm not mm -hmm. constantly thinking about it. I just, one day it's going to pop up and I'm going to be like, oh yeah, that show. Yeah. Not too I bad. I love the movie. It was really good. And it was a good book. But yes, sorry, Pokemon. Fifth gen. Um, wait, did you say your gen four? Oh, you said Turtwick. Okay. Yeah, they said Turtwick. Gen, fifth gen, I, I, I liked them all. So I, I swapped. Like every time I only I like one. Oh. All the other ones are poo 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 stinky. Snivy? No, it's uh Oshawa. Oshawa? Okay, yeah, Oshawa is great. I yeah. say out of all of them I chose that um Oshawa the most. Yeah, Oshawa is probably my personal favorite one. If uh I, I don't like Embor 
I don't like Serpentine, whatever it's called. And I just mm. didn't like them at all. Personally, that's, that's me. But uh, no, ju- what did you have? Oh, always swapped. So but with Gen 6, mm-hmm. what I do know about Gen 6 is um, they had already planned uh, Greninja for, uh, even before Greninja was revealed. Um, they didn't know that Greninja was going to be popular, but they'd already planned to that one to be the one they promoted the most in the anime, in Smash. So they, like... Kind of like Greninja, Lucario, in a way? Yeah, they they had already made plans to make Greninja big, so... Um, Greninja is a favorite of a lot of people, but the thing is with Gen 6, I had already decided I wanted Charizard on my team, so I would have chosen, I would have chosen, uh, Delphox, um, but I chose, uh, oh, I chose Chespin, even though no one chose Chespin. <laughs> um, oh, no, wait, someone chess chess pin? Chess oh my god. Not. Yeah, a little round boy. I ch- okay, I chose him, um, because I, I needed a grass type in my team. <laughs> Okay, that makes sense. Uh, but like Chespin, I feel like, dude, six gen. The only cool one there is Greninja. Like, it's it's a similar situation. Is Greninja? Oh That's yeah, it. he's very cool. But I already have my water yeah. types uh, chosen, so I planned my team out way before the games come out. That so. makes sense. I will say, however, um, well, Fennekin was very cute. The second evolution yes. was it Breakson or something like that? Mm. Breakson. I liked a lot because in Pokemon, uh, no, Pokken. Yeah, yeah. Pokken. I played Pokken. Yeah, Pokken was, uh, so I play a lot of fighting games. So I went to Evolution, which is like the big, huge fighting game Ooh. tournament that occurs. Um, I remember <clears throat> being at the uh, at Evo and Pokken being uh, one of the games either on a side stage or main stage, I can't remember. But Brakeson was lighting that crowd up. Everyone Whoa. was just cheering on for for Brakeson. And I'm not gonna lie, it it, it, it Brakeson's pretty adorable. So, uh, yeah, I'll say I mean, that. The, there's some Brakeson. like middle evolutions of some starters that are just really awkward looking. But yeah, yeah that one's fine. Like Croconaw. That one's fine. I feel right. I, think it's, I think more like it's Sobble's evolution. That's an awkward. That's one. That's another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Uh, uh, sword and shield starters. Don't even get me started on those. Uh, okay. Uh, next, isn't it? Um, it's Alola, right? Man. Alola region. Which one's those again? Um, Rowlet, Litten, and Poplio. Rowlet, my freaking boy. That's one of the greatest starters yes. of all time. Yes, Rowlet. I chose. I always chose Rowlet. Me too. Um, but what what really pissed me off is the fact that you finally have Litten, who is literally. A fucking wrestler, like evolves into be a wrestler, <laughs> and you make uh, it fire dark and not fire fighting. The others could have been fire dark. Like to be Embor fair, be they had a lot. Oh yeah, Embor. I always thought Embor was fire dark. It's fire fighting, like all loads of other fire types that are starters. Yeah, they should have made Embor fire dark and uh, Incineroar fire fighting. Absolutely, yeah. I agree. But uh, what is it? Uh, Decidui being grass was it grass oh, ghost or flying? Yes. No, grass oh, ghost, right? No, no, no. Grass ghost was in um Arceus. I'm pretty sure. I think, I think it's grass. Or grass was it grass ghost? Wait, chat will probably know. You're probably you probably know more than I do, to be honest with you. So you're you're probably right. Decidui type. Fire ghost was in RC. Oh, that's right. That's 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 Typlosion. You're right. So I think it's grass fighting in RCS. No, I think you're right. Uh, yeah, in Hisui, it's grass fighting. Um, yes. In Alola, it's grass ghost. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I, I, got lo- all I mean, up. I thought that was the coolest design. And Rowlet was pushed in the anime a lot. Um, ooh, oh, it, uh, gotcha. Oh, you had like a no signal thing, but it's okay now. Oh. Um, oh, let's keep uh, it in uh, uh, Keep going, okay? keep going, keep going, keep going. So, uh, Decidueye, what's, what's, uh, Gen, uh, 8? Uh, Gen 8 is, uh, Sword and Shield, so that's, uh... Who's Score b- Bunny Girl? Sobble, Score Bunny, and, uh, Grookey. Were you a Score Bunny Girl? Yeah, I chose Score Bunny, uh, um, <laughs> originally, and then I did try Grookey, but I much prefer Score Bunny, because Score Bunny's cute. <laughs> 
Score Bunny. Uh, I, I I think everybody's like starter was Score Bunny. I actually wanted the monkey, but the Ooh, monkey is turned... very cute. Dude, I I loved a grass monkey. Oh my god, I love that. But it turned mm. out to be so underwhelming and so. Ugh. Don't get me get me started. I hated it. I think I, I think I ended up taking it out. Is... Yeah, the starters. I I always want to choose my team around the starter I pick. Some mm -hmm. you know, like, and keep my starter in because it just feels nice, you know, to have your starter go on the journey with you, right? But mm -hmm. I like school bunny was I. He was yeah, lying. it's it's fine. Sobble, oh my god, I hated that evolution. It looked uh, like um the memes that came out of it, like uh, it looked <laughs> like that one character from Incredibles. Ah, the, uh, the lady. The, the lady, lady the, yeah. Yeah, in the first one, I know what you mean. I know. Yeah. What you mean. So, uh, but and then uh, last, last. Oh no, no, wait, Arceus. What about Arceus? Arceus, I I think I chose Piplup. Uh. No, oh, not Piplup. Right, Piplup. Piplup's not in the game. Oshawa. Did... Oshawa. Yeah, yeah, Oshawa. Oshawa. That's what it was. Oshawa. Yes. Yeah, Oshawa's not. Yeah, Piplup's not in that game. Yeah. Um. No. Mm -mm. It's was it Oshawa, Cyndaquil, and Rowlet, right? Yes, that's right. That's right, and they had yeah. different variations. I yeah. think I chose Cyndaquil, I think. Or I chose Rowlet. Dude, the, it it was between two of my one of my some of my favorite starters. I don't know if I could mm. just, I don't remember what I what I chose. They, yeah, they were three starters I really I really had a tough time. But I figured I'd pick Oshawa because, you know, it's I I I had I couldn't pick between um the other two, so I was just like, okay, I won't pick either of them, I'll go with Oshawa. Oshawa, <laughs> so. that's it. Easy, easy pick, easy pick. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then last one, uh, Scarlet and Violet. Um, I originally was thinking of choosing the cat. Um, okay. But I really like ducks. Okay. okay. <laughs> but then I didn't evolve my duck. I didn't evolve my duck. Oh, you didn't evolve. love it? Oh. No. I, no. I, I actually think... Um, Spriga, what is it called? Sprigatito. Sprigatito had the best evolution line, but yes. I was just like, oh, "It's standing up now. <laughs> Why is it standing up?" <laughs> At least the duck was standing up to begin with, but yeah. they were all cute as, as babies. But the one who had the best final evolution was Sprigatito. Sprigatito. But, uh, but I chose the duck. Um, I did too. But actually. That being that being said, the duck didn't stay in my party that long because I found a shiny Azuril and um, I kicked it out. Ah, okay. Uh, understandable. I, uh, to be honest with you, I think it's a, it was a pretty common thing to say that the, the evolutions that they had, the final evolutions, were actually, like, pretty underwhelming. And uh, well, they, not they just... They always have a thing, right? But they like, have a thing, yeah. yeah. I think the duck... Oh, what's the duck? Ducklet, I think? Oh, no, it's not ducklet. I can't mm. remember the name of it. Quartzly? But I... Well, Quaxley, that's the one. Um, a lot of people were saying or doing concept art of it being like a like a JoJo character, like with a yeah, with a hood, kind of like delinquent with like the hat and stuff like that, mm -hmm. kind of like being like Jotaro. Yeah, because because of the hair. Yeah, so I thought those were way better than what we got, but I don't yeah. know what it is. But it's just like the duck doing the samba. And just going back and forth, I thought it was so freaking funny. I had to keep it. I had to keep it. It's just the, the samba and shit, you know, just going dancing back I, and forth. I will admit the games were like cool. It was cool that you could go around and stuff. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you can't go in people's houses anymore, which is for me, even though it's weird, right? Especially in Sun and Moon when you could like sniff people's beds. But uh, I. Oh, I, so I, you're a home going, invader, huh? Mm. I really liked going in people's houses. <laughs> <laughs> a home invader, huh? Hmm. Chat, use a VPN just in case. <laughs> no, I just mean, I just mean it's nice that you can. There's more to the world in a way. True. Even true, though no. you can explore the world, there's more to the world if you can go in people's houses. Yeah, true. I guess <laughs> there's more to. I just wanted to explore. We're gonna see Aura in like the news one day. <laughs> gonna be like home invader it's like i just wanted to explore the world i just but wanted like, to see like, what it was like out. the houses <laughs> in sword and shield the inside of the houses is really cute they are really they are cute. little fireplace and everything mm -hmm. and so, the yeah but no with uh, the... 
<laughs> you go, you go, you go, you go, you go. <laughs> with, with Pokemon, what's your all-time favorite Pokemon? Oh, uh, there's quite a few. Okay, um, give me your top but, five then, or top three. Uh, top five. Uh, I'll give you. I'll give you a few. Yeah, Azumarill. Just... Okay. Um, Slowpoke. Okay. Um, Psyduck's pretty cute. Uh, Vulpix. Alolan Vulpix is beautiful. I love Alolan Vulpix. That's yeah. one of the reasons I played uh, Sun and Moon. Um, Ice Ice Q. Now this is a bit a bit of a rare one because. Ice Q is obviously a newer Pokemon, and, and loads of people, when they say, what's your favorite Pokemon, they'll always say one of the classics, but Ice Q is so fucking silly, <laughs> and with his fucking ice head. Um, Sylveon's <laughs> adorable, weird. but I do own over 400 Pikachu uh, plushies and toys, so. Hmm. I have yeah. a friend that owns a shit ton of Eevees, so I I feel like Pokemon fans are just that's just how that, that's how they express their love is they get up a, a hundreds of the yeah. same Pokemon plush. Yeah. So that's cute. Okay, <laughs> Pikachu. And uh Alright, my favorite Pokemon is Snorlax. Snorlax is I love him. Yeah. No, Snorlax is by far my favorite Pokemon of all did time. You, it's my soul did animal. Did you get him in Let's Go? Because when you walk oh, yeah. with him, he you you hold on to his tummy and he walks. <laughs> I don't I didn't know that. It's been a while since I played Let's Go, but yes, I did capture Snorlax. I always get a Snorlax if I do a playthrough, no matter what. That's like mm. that. That's my boy. Okay, that's my boy. But uh, well, yeah, Pokemon. It seems to have been a really big part of your life then, which is awesome because oh, yeah. it's a really big part of my life too. Uh, it was, that it's been incredible for me, Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon is it's one of those things. It's crazy how many channels there are dedicated to Pokemon. There's yeah. so many channels. Yeah, and and when a new one comes out, I will play it on stream. But I don't think I want to play any of the old ones right now because like. I have so many other games I really want to play. I feel you. Mm -hmm. I feel you. Yeah. On that. So then uh, I heard from a little bird. Well, actually, <laughs> that little bird is you. That you uh, like Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh. I, re I really like Yu-Gi-Oh as a kid. I played mm -hmm. it a lot at my school. And um, none of us could fucking read. So um, <laughs> I used to just say, I had this one card. It was a magic card with a fairy on it. I don't remember the name of it. But I used to say, oh, this card, playing this card means I win. So um, yeah, <laughs> I'm the winner now. <laughs> so you had one of those self-imposed rules? You just had oh, house yeah. rules? Oh, I mean, I was, I, this was when I was like seven. So, like, I was playing with six- and seven-year-olds. None of us could fucking read, so, uh, <laughs> you know, True. it's fine. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! players <laughs> still can't read, to be honest with you, so nothing's mm. changed in the no, 20 I... <laughs> years the game's been out. So, But I was very much a classic player, and okay. then when I got into... I got into it you know, a couple... Got back into it a couple of years ago on, the, on one of the PlayStation 4 games, and... Um, I was playing with my friend. There was a lot of new things that I didn't really know about. And then um, he introduced me to Pendulum. And I hated it. Uh, hated yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Continue. Are you vomiting? <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it's, a, it, it's a condition. Uh, when, yeah. when I went to what? Rare. Pendulum? Yeah. When, uh, when yeah. Pendulum I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Amen, sister. Amen. I'm I am the number one pendulum hater. And I don't even yeah. care. I just I, I just care. like classic stuff. Just I don't so want, I don't goat, mean anything fancy. A goat format type of uh player. I'm just I'm just a simple gal who just wants to fusion summon or like, you know, virtual summon and not worry about pendulum. Oh and just have her and you know not have to wait half an hour for you know <laughs> the the opponent to you know do write read a whole entire thesis worth of uh uh cards yeah. and, and just just kill me like you don't need to summon five different monsters just just get it over with I don't... <laughs> so then you kind of know about fusions and uh old school type of play style tributing 
stuff like that. So you're yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. So did you try to get into like the synchros, the XCs? Oh the yeah, leads? yeah. I tried. Yeah, I know how. I know, of course, about them. But hmm. I, I just hate Pendulum so much. Okay, thank God. Okay, there you go, sister. I would high five you right now. Psh, let's go. Yeah. Pendulum Haters Club, right but, here. But when I was a kid, I I was into um, what was it uh. Oh my god, how did I forget the name? Bakugan. Uh, no, va, uh, va, 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 Valheim. No, no, Vanguard. no, it's another cut. Vanguard, Vanguard, yeah. I was Vanguard? really into Vanguard go. for a little bit. And I bought so many cute cards. The same thing happened with Yu-Gi-Oh! I, I really just like the cute cards. Like, what's it? Is it called Rescue? <laughs> rescue Cat? Oh, rescue, rescue the Rescue Card, yeah! <laughs> yeah, it was so cute! <laughs> no, rescue Cat is pretty cute. But I like um I like the Madolce cards as well. They're very cute. Those are very cute. Yes. Mm. Have you seen the uh the evil twin cards? The evil twin cards? I've yeah, seen evil them. twin cards. Those are the v that's the VTuber deck. Yo. Yeah, yeah they yeah. have. So it's uh basically um they have two personas. So they have uh the live twins, which is when they're live, Ooh. they have their uh, internet persona, and then when they're off, they have the evil twin personas, which. They do oh. heists and they do, they're a little bit more, you know, mis mischievous and stuff. And they're a lot more cooler, but you know, the, the when, when they're live, they're very cutesy, stuff like that. So it's a really cool archetype in that regard. It's the VTuber yeah. archetype. I like to, I like to, I, I, I don't really know much about that deck, but I'd like to, I'd like to see more of that. I really, oh yeah. I don't know. I really like cute cards. If it's, if it's a, if it's a deck that's powerful and cute, I'll be I'll be very happy, you know. Have have you seen Pearly? I made a Pearly. They're very cute. Yeah, you saw Pearly? Yeah. Pearly is uh by far one of the best decks and there are just cute little animals that transform into bigger animals. So I was like Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. But uh, no, Yu-Gi-Oh is, is is really fun. I I got into yeah. it a long time ago, and I really enjoy it. So if there's anything that you need when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh, I I, you. I don't I don't stream anything. I don't do any content on it just because I know that my 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 audience will literally just vanish, except for a handful of them. Uh, oh. so yeah, no, I, that's my off-stream game. That's that's the game I decided that Yu-Gi-Oh is my 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 game that I can play off-stream on my own time for me. And not for content or for work or something like that, which I guess every that's what everybody needs. Um, and speaking of which, uh, when you're not streaming and when you're not doing content um, right now, what do you do? You normally do anything in particular to kind of like any hobbies or anything that you like to do outside of streaming? To play a video game. <laughs> You just like um, to play video games? Fair. But no, fair. no, I do have other hobbies, like obviously singing, dancing, um, uh, voice acting. I'm not a voice actor, but I, you know, I do a lot of impressions and stuff. Um, and okay. I, I've, I did, I did actually for a little bit train to do voice acting because I oh. went to like performing arts school for a really long time. Um, but I think something I really like to do. This is kind of weird, but I like to look at, uh, like you know, when you you going to rent a house and you're on the website and they show you the the house layout like you know from sky view like you look at where everything's out like the blueprints and stuff uh-huh i really like looking at blueprints oh so you like window shopping for houses no well no 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 because sometimes hotels have them where they have the layouts and everything i just really like looking at layouts um i like used blueprints? to also do yeah blue i like looking at blueprints um okay that makes me sound makes me sound like i'm gonna pull up a heist uh, to be on it no that's that's <laughs> totally okay because i've heard much weirder but that's the first time i've heard someone say i like to watch look at blueprints that's that's a first yeah i mean i i do have i do have normal hobbies but um i i, I just um <laughs> when i was a kid uh -huh. you know you know travel agents you know places you go to to book holidays that don't really exist much anymore Sure. Um, we used to go in them with my family and I used to get all the brochures for the holiday parks and the vacation places and all that stuff. Mm. And I used to, they would have like the different accommodations you could stay in, right? The different rooms and, and such. Yeah. And um, 
I was always obsessed with The Sims as well. But like, um, mm. I I would look at the pages with the room layouts, and I'd just be really fascinated. They had those bird's eye view sort of like sky view layout pictures, and I really, I mean, no, I really, I really loved them. And that's that just randomly stuck with me. Um, uh, you should have been an architect, I, you know. <laughs> I yeah, I maybe maybe in another life I am, but. Um, performing arts was always my passion, so... Um, ah, makes sense. <laughs> yeah, singing, dancing, acting and stuff was always, it was something I loved, so, um, I stuck with that. But, you know, I, yeah, I, I really, 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 really love that. That's weird, but I do like looking at blueprints. The blueprints. Sounds good to me. Well, <laughs> in, in terms, terms of, uh, like, voice acting and stuff like that, I think you could be really good at it. You got a really nice voice, like, seriously... When it comes to like, I I don't know if that's me saying that because you're British and I automatically, as soon as you're British, you're like, yeah, you could be a voice actor. Like, but I, I don't feel like, I don't feel like I, because I, I lived abroad for a while. Uh -huh. I feel like my accident, my accident? Oh, God, Your accident, accident, yes. Being no. British is accident. It's an accident. Yes, absolutely. The, the accent got a bit <laughs> skew with. And I think, uh, I think, you know, um, I don't sound too British. Like yeah. I don't sound like Rin. So Oh, Rin is hella British. Rin, <laughs> Rin's so way British. more British. And I hate tea, so <laughs> You hate tea? No yeah. shot. Yeah. My 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 uh You can't be a citizen. I think that's like it, a prerequisite, right? No, my that, there's dream, no way. Okay, it gets worse. My dream aesthetic is not cottage cozy couture. It's 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 American diner. <laughs> you're so you're straight up an American. <laughs> like the amount when I lived in Japan, most of my friends were American, so I did have to say pants around them. Oh, that's right. I learned that from Rin. Uh, I learned yeah. that pants are actually underwear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh god, you told me earlier today. What was trousers? That's the mm -hmm. one. Trousers, yeah, trousers are like pants over here. Which yeah, is yeah, pretty much. Pretty funny to me. Hey, you know, actually, speaking of which, uh, now, now we're on the subject of, of British things. Uh, do you actually think that wanker is like a legitimate insult? I just can't, and for the life of me, say like, call someone a wanker and like actually mean it and or not. You know what I mean? It like, is where that... you from? Because I think some parts of England have like more insulting words. But okay, um. I don't know. I like don't you wank use her. it. I uh, I don't really I don't really use that. But I you know like there's some words that are really bad in the UK that Australians love to say. You know you know which one, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. That they use that as a hello. So. Oh. Um, yeah. Oh, well, there's a whole bunch of different things like that it's culturally. Hello, but, you yeah. know, it's it's they they love to say the this. You know the word, right? Oh, you know, is it the, the C word? Australians love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They love that. Oh, word. okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but that's not okay in the UK. So, yeah. um, uh, but they say it a lot, from what my understanding. Yeah, they do. Yeah. It's when but, they want to uh, really insult someone. Mm, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. The, the, mm, there was a um. Oh no, there was a there was a TV show called The Inbetweeners. And there's um there's a bit where they're driving in the car and they shout at some people in a bus stop, and um uh they call them that that they call them that word yeah and uh -huh. then the American version they had to take it out because it, it you know just wouldn't make they sense. had to censor it they had to censor it well they didn't it. censor it they changed it to uh to like a uh, a word for poop so it just didn't ah. have the amount of effect as it did in the UK version you know. Exactly. No, they they do that a lot. Actually, have you ever seen snakes on a plane? And uh, no, but I know I know about it. The, the do you know about the censored version of snakes on a plane? Oh no, what happened? So, uh, in in the snakes on a plane, I think Samuel L. Jackson says, "I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes on my motherfucking plane." Yeah. On this motherfucking plane, something like that. So, in the censored version, they say, "I'm tired of these." What was it? Mother flinging snakes on this flinging? Monday to Friday play plane. Monday to Friday? 
Yeah, something like that. I just remember the Monday to ah, Friday. That was. Ah, uh, I see. I uh, see. With the in between is it was it didn't work because pretty much um it was the American. Ver- it's not like you know the Office that did really well, right? The American mm. version, the in between is they just took the same script and just changed Americanized a few words. They didn't really like change the feel of the show and because they're just taking a british show and not really doing enough to change it yeah um it didn't work it didn't really british work. comedy works a little bit different i was actually talking to this yeah. with faith the other day but i feel like i i don't know if this is because i only watch one british tv show and liked it or if it's because mm-hmm. i just i i genuinely think british comedy i find it funnier than american comedy it's very dry. Um, it's, it's and not I so like much that. Reliable, relying on gags. And I think, you know, American shows are a season because they literally last a season, right? British shows yeah. are like a series. So, because they only, it's sad, they only last, last like eight episodes, eight to 12 episodes. But um, I don't know. There's a, it's less about the gags on most of It's a little of the bit shows, more witty, I, I feel like, clever. Yeah. But I like American comedy too. I loved Community. I love that. I haven't seen Community, but what the hell? Ever, I've not seen Community at all. But I have you ever seen uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I might say that's very on par with how with a lot of British humor. I'd say. E- yeah, no, Br- it, uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm has been one of my favorites. Yeah, but I haven't watched a lot of it. But I, you know, I I understand the humor of that show isn't for everyone. Nope. It's very, it's very, I don't know, dry, slow. But um. Mm. Yeah, I think when it came to, like, The Office, the reason why it worked so well is because they didn't take it the, the the script and just use that. They they made it their own. The British yeah, Office exactly. is fantastic, but it's, it's, it's that. It's just that. Whereas the American one, they took the idea and then they Americanized it, and that's how it works. Cause if you and just it take works the so British good. One, yeah, there was also a TV show called The IT Crowd, which um didn't get past the pilot and the issue was they just took the same script didn't change anything not even the names i think and that's the issue the setup everything the one-liners the the laugh track everything is just the same and it just doesn't work for some reason it's i don't know it might just be because it's you know it's an american it's coming from an american accent it might not you know play out as well but it just didn't work. If it doesn't work. Make, it really doesn't. Yeah. If you're going to make an American version, you need to make it appeal to the American standards, you know? That's right. And I feel like The Office did that perfectly. Actually, did you know that they're rebooting it? Oh, are they? Oh, reboot. <laughs> That's what oh. I said, too. I said, oh, no. Well, everything nowadays is a reboot, a remake, a, a live-action CGI version with... Beyonce as a lion, or like God, don't, don't get me know. started on Lion King. Jeez, oh, Lou, that it wasn't was really, something. I don't else. think it was needed. It wasn't. No, absolutely not. There's like, there's no reason for that to exist right. other than to right. be made fun of. You, you know, Moana came out in like 2016, 2017, and they're making a live action of it. Yeah, it's not even been ten years. <laughs> oh God, it's not even ten years. Freaking kill me, my lord. Uh. But uh, to kind of uh, move on a little bit, I want to talk a little bit more about you in this in this position with uh, being a content creator and stuff like that. I actually uh, run into this a lot, but I want to get your thoughts on it. What do you tell people when they say, hey, what do you do for a living? What do you say to people? Um, I say I, I say I work. For, for the internet <laughs> i work for the internet that, yeah do you think they're gonna I understand i'd be like oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's true yeah, very good quite yeah yes. i just i just say i work for the internet <laughs> not not i work on the internet i say i work for the internet i work for the internet not on yeah. the internet Mm-mm. yeah no because some people when you say i work on the internet they're like oh oof, is that you know oh that is that weird isn't that the weird stuff on there but if you say you work for the internet, they may be like, oh, so you're a programmer or something. They might they might think you sound really intelligent, which I am yeah. not. So um, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I say I work uh, for the internet. Um, I, my immediate family, no. But like, 
So uh, then your immediate family kind of knows about what you do, or do you go a little bit more, but not as vague? Be like, yeah, I'm a you know, entertainer. My, my parents don't really understand it that much, but they're trying. They don't really know that. any other VTubers other than me. Um, but they're just like, oh, are you happy? And I'm like, yeah. Are you doing well? Yeah. Okay. Um, very based parents. Very good. Very good. <laughs> they didn't understand it at first, but um, I tried my best to explain it. So that's good. No, yeah. I, I, when it comes to like uh, telling normal people about this space, it's always kind of like a like a hot potato. Yeah, little, it, little... it 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 is. I've I've tried to explain to a few people, and they do have questions. But mostly a lot of people seem to be, oh, so you're like a voice actor or something. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I still think it's very new. And um, uh, I feel no. like uh, a lot of people still don't get it. No, I get that. Actually, right now, uh, just, <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit of a story. I actually went to a Korean barbecue place. And so my spiel, I'll tell you what I personally do. I What I say is, I say, I'm a video editor. I make YouTube uh, videos. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I'm a video editor because, you know, it's a little bit easier than, than VTubers, I want to say. But yeah, I'm like, I'm a video. I edit videos and for people. <laughs> that pe mm -hmm. People is me. So. <laughs> so that's what I say. That's my go-to. That's the people understand that. And uh, people usually leave me alone. Uh, so I went to this Korean barbecue place. And I... You know, we were making small talk with the waiters. Like, oh, well, what do you guys do? What brings you out here? So we tell him. And then he's like, oh, what do you guys do? We, we were like, we're taking a break from work. That's where it came to. Um, and then it's like, oh, what do you guys do for work? And I'm like, oh, well. And then my, my girlfriend, she, she does her. She, tell, she says, tells him her job. And then I'm like, I'm a video editor. And he's like, really? Actually, I have a lot of different friends that uh, do like, you know, TikToks and YouTube videos. And I'm like, oh, God. I think I know where this is going. And, uh, you know, I actually am starting to do some stuff myself because they kind of inspired me to do all that stuff. So I started a couple months ago. And uh, would it be okay if I, like, gave you my information? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of busy, bro. I, I got my, 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 my plate's full. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's like, oh, that's okay, bro. Uh, understandable, understandable. Um, I'm like, oh, God, that's the first time that one backfired on me. It's hard to just come out and say, I interview anime people on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, that's like a thing that I recently started doing, and I really enjoy doing it. And uh, I, because I, the whole reason why this show was kind of like made is because I started to hang out with and collab with VTubers more. And then. Uh, when we collab, all we would do is just end up talking for hours. Yeah. And then the game would like hardly get played. So I'm like, I'll just make an entire series on that. So that's kind of how the show was made. But uh, no, it's been a blast uh, like being able to talk to people. But I don't know how I can explain that to people. Be like, yeah, I, I, I interview yeah. anime girls and, and, and boys, you know. And I remember uh, one time... I remember one time when I was working in Japan, I had a VTuber as my uh, background on my phone. And mm. um, uh, I, I didn't really want to explain what VTubing was or who what VTubers were. So this co-worker was just like, oh, yeah, what anime has she been in? And I'm oh, just boy. like, oh. Uh, uh, I don't know. I just I just found her on, 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 on Google. I just searched anime girls. Uh, okay. Even though <laughs> exactly. in, in Japan, you know, when every like every so often Family Mart has a collaboration with Hololive and stuff. Uh -huh. um, and Niji Sanji and all that. But like, I didn't feel like explaining VTubers or my love of VTubers. So, so I, I've loved VTubers for a very long time. So, Oh, absolutely. Um, and I feel like that'd be yeah. a lot easier to get around in Japan than, than over oh, here. Oh, yeah. Anywhere yeah. else. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, but, you can buy goods from a lot of places, so. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, my God. There's so many of them. And they're, like, taking over Japan. Uh, yeah. Like, especially, like, Hololive and stuff like that. But I remember having, like, something similar to your story. I, I, I'm sponsored by Gamersubs. Uh, yes. As you can see, I have a lot of Great. different Gamersubs stuff. 
And uh, coupon code Coco, K O E K O E, get yourself some uh, nice gamer subs, ten percent off. So yes, you can uh, get the new flavor, Grandpa's Ashes. Grandpa's Ashes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh God. So I had a shirt that had Shy Lily on it. Yeah. And uh, it's one of my favorite shirts because it's really comfy. It's really big. And I went out. I had the mistake of going out with it. Mm-hmm. And I went to where did I go? I think I went to like. Uh, like I think like, like a Chinatown market or something like that. And there was a, a, I can't remember what it was, but it there was a merchant or like a cashier, cash register, waiter, waitress, whatever the hell. And uh, they were like, oh, nice shirt. What anime is that from? And I'm like, uh, actually, I don't know. I, I have no clue what anime she's from. I just found it in my closet. And that's it. And I just left it at that. So. Because I didn't want to go into the whole thing of explaining who Shy Lily was. I should have just said, yeah. uh, that's, she's a friend. <laughs> that's it. She's a friend. That's I, about it. I have an off-topic question. Yeah, go for it. Can I see that duck with the hat behind you? Oh. You want to see Schubert? Yes, so, please. I guess I'll, I'll show you my, uh, give you the, the lore on uh, my, my, my He's duck, very okay? dapper. He looks so, very handsome. this is a new duck that I have, and uh, he oversees the office and oversees the mm-hmm. ladies over here. But this is Schubert. What a really handsome chap. Yeah, this is uh, Schubert. I got him recently. This is a companion for my personal streaming companion. I'll go get her. So Schubert's a new, new, new collection, new, new addition to the, to the room. Uh, but Wait, my. I, where do you buy them? I want one. Uh, I will show you. I'll give you the link to Schubert. He's but so cute. Is, what the hell? But this is Shuba. Oh yeah, Shuba. Yeah, Shuba, this Shuba, is Shuba, Shuba. this is Shuba. <laughs> she's based on a true duck. Uh, she's my streaming companion. She 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 mm. chills and she hangs out here with us. Uh, she's a rescue, so uh, and because uh, she was going to end up being a chew toy for a dog, and I, I I I got her, and she's been with me for what two and a half years, I think. Yeah, so Shuba's been with me for a long time. She likes to talk to the chat a lot, and she likes the did, chat. Did she come with the hat? No, I gave that. <laughs> I bought that. For, there's actually a cat <laughs> a, a cat hat. <laughs> This is a hat for a cat. <laughs> so uh yeah, that's 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 Shuba. It's very cute. It's very So very yeah, cute. uh I had her for about two and a half years and then I got Schubert uh recently at Anime Expo actually. Uh the company oh. that runs that is actually really nice. Uh, I will link that to you. After oh yeah, thank you. I like ducks a lot. They're very cute. Ducks are pretty sick, but yeah, she's inspired by a true duck. Uh we all know which duck that is. Uh, <laughs> Big fan, so. Uh, I know there's a figurine of her behind the screen, so I can see it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like over. Yeah, she. I. I actually have two of those. I have two. Oh, nice. I have. I have two Subaru things because they messed up and they gave me two statues you, instead of you one. You know, the first VTuber. I mean, other than Kizuna Ai, I was in Ikebukuro one day and I saw a shop that was selling. There's those. There there's this like, uh, whole chain of stores called k-books and okay. one of them was just selling vtuber stuff and they oh. had a huge cutout of subaru and i didn't know what subaru who Z- subaru was at the time uh-huh. but she was the technically the first other than keys and i vtuber that i knew of just from her cutout and uh yeah i wow. first i was like oh she looks like a tomboy oh she's pretty cute okay um when was that I, by the way Hmm? What was that like a year or two ago, or like how long ago? No, was that? that was in 2020. 2020, 2020. No, 29, no, 2019. 2019, I saw a cutout, but I didn't really get into VTube as much until 2020. Until 2020, yeah, that's when mm-hmm. everybody kind of got into it. That's when I got yeah. into it, actually. So, pretty crazy yeah. how far it's come in the in the three years. So, yeah, uh, it's definitely evolved a lot. I think standards it's... have gotten a lot higher too. Oh, absolutely. Um, absolutely. Expectations as well. Like, uh, I feel like um, a lot of mm, hard work goes into, like, so much of it. And 
But it, 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 there's always hard work that goes into VTubing, right? But I feel like compared to then and now, there's so much, like, you have to have so much ready, right? Like overlays, law videos, stingers, and, and all sorts. Yep. So you don't have to have all those things, right? But mm. um, In actuality, uh, you don't, no. People, pe no, no, you don't need it. And there's loads of free assets as well, right? But uh, yeah. I, there's, a, there's a lot that people can do with VTubing now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and uh, there's no no doubt that like a nice model definitely is is really nice. But yeah, you don't technically need a nice model uh, as long as there's you lots have of it. free ways to get into it. Like oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and people think, keep making free assets left and right. I think yeah, I saw one the other day that was really too. good. Yeah, yeah there's lots models. of ways. I I honestly my biggest advice for mm. people who want to get into VTubing because VTubing um. It's expensive, right? Like a lot of mm -hmm. money gets into it, and it is an investment. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know I'm a, um, I know I'm Opera GX's VTuber, but I have a lot of friends who are indie and stuff like that. And um, I will say, like, the best thing you can do if you really want to get into it is you use a PNG or find one of those customizable models that are really cheap, and just try streaming. Like, cause streaming is very different. Like, even though I have all this performing art experience um converting that to streaming is is uh is, it, it was it was it's difficult um absolutely yeah so i'd hate for someone to to just like spend all that money and then be like ah it's not for me um <laughs> yeah. so unless that's a you general have the rule money. of thumb with content creation yeah. in general really but yeah, uh try, vtubing try especially mm -hmm. um and the, uh, the biggest thing obviously is to practice talking to yourself <laughs> oh, that, that took that took yeah. a while for sure have you when when did you get used to it like well i guess you're in performing arts so i guess that is something mm. that comes with the territory no well um for me i did another job that did help me a little bit with youtubing okay. like nice. i did i did theater work and and performing arts and acting and all that but i also did a little video um okay. So I that that definitely was something that helped, you know, yeah. you talk to yourself. So No, yeah. that took me a while too. I remember I've been on YouTube for since twenty thirteen, I wanna say, and looking back at those videos, you could tell mm. it's like I did not know how to speak to a camera or to myself or knew how to explain to people when they hear me, Are you talking to yourself? Like you you can clearly tell. Yeah. And uh once you start to really get used to it, you can tell absolutely. So that's mm -hmm. one thing that you should one hundred percent do before you start to do any. Oh content yeah, because it is it. it is a it is it is tricky to start off like talking to yourself and you know uh, there's so many things you have to be aware of. You can have you can be so skilled in performing arts and all this other stuff, but it's about converting it over to being. A streamer, a content creator, or a VTuber, you know. Yeah. Now, uh, when it comes to uh, VTubing, that's always like really, I love talking about like content creation and stuff like that. Um, it's like one of those things where I always contemplated like making a separate channel just to kind of like just talk about everything in the industry. Mm. Um, so I could talk about it for hours, but I want to talk about as well something uh, I don't know if uh you have any pet peeves but i'm a big well, like, fan of pet peeves i love hearing about other people's pet peeves do you have like a in pet general peeve? in general just in general oh okay you can right, it can be so. as niche as you want or it could be as general as you want it's up to you okay so say you're walking down on the side the what we call it pavement but the sidewalk right imagine with me you're okay. walking down the sidewalk two people are walking towards you and there's only room on the sidewalk for two people right uh -huh. So two people side by side are walking towards you, and then they are a few. They're not going single file, so you have to walk on the fucking road. Okay. So they walk you like there's a wall coming at you, and you're pretty just like... much, pretty much. And instead of them going single file, being nice, you <laughs> have to go on the fucking road. That's one of my pet peeves. Just people like that. <laughs> Do you ever not give a shit? You just run through them. You just don't give a um, shit. <laughs> I have, I have one time I got really pissed off. I just stood there, um, and then like ah, just post it. I just, <laughs> I mean, it's happened in the UK and moving. Japan, but I just literally was just like, 
I was at the point where I was just really fed up of this happening. Um, <laughs> it happened all the time in the UK. It happened in Japan. So it's not just like a country place thing. Um, it, it's it's just that's just one of my pet peeves. Um, I mean, the there's there's things I'll tolerate, and I'll be like, oh, you know, different. You know, they they think like this, they think that, but like manners fucking mm. manners i am very much like dude where's your fucking manners all the time i'm not talking about like um oh let's say when my dad burps or something uh that's that not that kind of manners um <laughs> but okay. like i'm talking about like when manners as in courtesy being courteous to others being yeah, kind to courtesy. others and just common courtesy like uh just the the whole walking you know, towards you without going single file, so you have to yeah. you're forced to go on the pavement and uh, the road. Sorry, that's mm-hmm. that's just like rude. That I mean, maybe it's <laughs> people just not noticing and they're just too involved in their own little world and stuff. But like, fucking annoying. I personally, I try to make it so I'm not a bother. I mm. don't know if that that came with like being raised as a fat kid because that's that's just me. Like, I just don't want to bother bother mm-hmm. other people. So I'm like, I don't want to take up too much space. So like, for example, on airplanes, if You're I'm on an conscious, airplane, right? oh yeah, if I'm on an airplane and I'm sitting like in the middle, I try my, I am uncomfortable the entire time because I'm trying not to touch anyone and not to bother anyone. You don't want to inconvenience Just, anyone. I don't want to, I don't. That's like my whole thing, my entire I life. Mean, that could be something from your upbringing. I was always just told to, my, my mother was very much hard on me about manners. Um, That's good. Yeah, but my grandma was too. Uh, yeah, my grandma too, but my granddad wasn't at all. Um, <laughs> uh, like, uh, and my dad is he's 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 a dad. He his his uh sneezes rattle the whole house, you know. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I I sometimes do wonder, like, was this person raised in a barn? Like, it's is it, it it's real? I don't know why it's so hard. For people to be nice. Oh, I've just thought of another pet peeve. Oh, what's up? Um, parents who uh, they they live in a live in an RV or van with their kids, but the parents get the the you know the whole a, a nice bedroom with a double bed and everything, but the kids are stuck in these tiny bunk beds with a curtain, and that's their bedroom. Oh, well, I don't know if that's a pet peeve. I think that's more of a, like a, a, dis, a disdain towards people that. Well, okay. It's the pet peeve when, when they turn it, they turn it into family vloggers and they're like, hi, we are the Jeffersons okay, and we're yeah. on the road because we decided that our kids, they need to not be in schools learning and socializing with people their own age. We want to take them on the great American adventure. But not only that. We don't want to give Timmy, our 17-year-old, his own space. No, no, no. He has to room with our four-year-old. But don't worry. We've given him his own curtain on the shelf. I mean, bunk bed. Oh, God. Dude, family vloggers, <laughs> I I don't understand the appeal of family vloggers. I mean, this this that's fine. If the ki- I- uh, It's just more about, like, I've seen these, these van life people, and they have kids sleeping on the floor, sleeping on these shelves, and... One of them's like they zoom in on their 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 daughter, who's like they just installed curtains on the bunk beds. Oh god! And that's, that's their room. That that bunk bed is their room. And the, um, that she goes, oh, well, how do you like your curtain, uh, Susan? Whatever the name was. And the little girl's like, I love my new curtain, mom. Now I have my own room. It's yeah, like, you better no, say you this, don't. or you don't get to eat. Don't. You bet. You you know they they got threatened <laughs> and, before the camera and, turned and, on. And there was another one that was like, um. I, I don't remember the kids' names, but it was like, it was filming the kid washing the dishes. And it was like, um, let's call her Maria. Maria didn't do her homework last night and she talked back. So she's oh, on God. she's on wash duty. So we're punishing her. And then the same family were like, so Maria really wanted a VR kit. And one of our viewers, one of our viewers sent one to us. So we let Maria share it with her two brothers and she gets 10 minutes a day. It was like... Oh God, dude! <laughs> guys of cringe, straight up. Yeah, I can't. so I mean, I guess it's not a pet peeve, but like, yeah, van. You just hate them. You just hate those there's, type of there's people. Nothing, there's nothing wrong with van life. I'm sure it, it looks very fun. I love but, vans. Yeah, I'm talking about family fun. vloggers that take advantage yeah. of their kids. But yeah, family vloggers like 
shoving their kids into tiny little shelves on on the um in in the RV with five dogs and, and whilst the parents get a luxurious luxurious uh, bed in the back you know those ones <laughs> that's some terrible you know what that's some terrible ass content i freaking i i, I hate those type of uh content but let's talk yeah. about freaking good content let's let's talk about that let's talk about do you have any inspirations for like content creation wise like anybody you 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 watch a lot or anybody you grew up watching or anything like that um, i mean i was a smosh kid oh you were a smosh kid oh <laughs> let's go okay um i was i was a who smosh wasn't? kid who was smosh no who no who wasn't who wasn't because oh, i think wasn't? smosh was so big yeah i loved smosh um i i don't know there's got to be like somebody that you look up to and you like look at their content oh, and you're like I kind of want to do that. Well, it, a VTuber, of... content creator, doesn't matter. You oh, can even put in um, VTubers if you want. Um there's been a few VTubers that heavily inspired me. Um oh. and uh some for very for varying reasons. Um be it that they might have had a similar journey to me or that they they were just so creative or that mm -hmm. they have a beautiful singing voice. So there's been a, there's been a lot, um, uh, that really, 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 um, I really love so much. Yeah. Um, uh, um, so, th so two of them were orange colored or are orange colored. Um, one of them is blue. Um, okay. But obviously, like, uh, I really love VTubers in general. Um, my first debut that I watched was uh, Tokimori Aoi from Prison Project. She was the first... I okay, I'd seen her debut before, but this was the first debut I watched live. Okay. And um, I really loved that. But I guess, like, my big, big, big inspirations is... Uh, you know what? Guess. Try and guess. Try and guess the two oranges and the blue. Try and guess them. Two oranges and the blue. Mm-hmm. Is by any chance one of them Coco? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, she she uh she got me into Yakuza, so. Oh, Yakuza, yeah. Yeah, I love those sorry, games. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, she, oh, she was really? fine, chat. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay yeah, sorry, she fell, and, and uh, chat gets crazy. Uh, but okay, yeah, Yakuza. I actually just recently played um. Wait, wait, wait! Hold on. Before we continue on, hold on. Let me try and guess the other. I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't think I know any other orange VTubers. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, this one. Going. You know this one. You know this one. She likes chicken. Aha. Okay. Uh, okay. Gotcha. 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 <laughs> ah, Kiwawa. Okay. Kiwawa. Kiwawa. Yeah. So you like Kiwawa? That's awesome. I love her she's so nice she's she's really kind to me so that's um, cute yeah i love kiwawa and then the blue one horn there's a lot of blue ones god that's such a such a broad color it's it's the it's the one who had a lot of like started off small she tries really hard she never gave up on her values she pushed herself super hard is it? Is it? Is it an indie? It was. Okay. But then she she joined a company as is, and um, she's she's been on the first take. She's... Oh, so we say. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know why that took me so long. Um, th th that's know. from that's from one company and the another company. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm inspired by an idol loving fairy very much. Um, okay. Called Pomu. Um, Pomu, I lo and love there's that. Also, awesome. I'm also a big fan of Zentrea. Zen? Oh, nice. Well, you're rocking the same color scheme. Yeah. <laughs> she, sure. um, I've always liked her. But then when I was started on Twitter, she was so kind to me and so loving. And she took a lot of big, big care for me. 
Awesome. Um, she she really took me under her wing, and she's she she gets my name wrong a lot. I'm Laura <laughs> Oreo Aura with an O. Oreo's a funny one though. Hey, <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> um, but I love her. I love her. That's very awesome. Much. I, I love VTubers in general. I think that um yes we don't show our faces but it takes a lot of courage to stream in general and for me vtubing is like in my life i was like at a point where i didn't know what to do next i'd had some failures in the performing arts world and then Mm. um i never knew this path existed and uh it was definitely like there's definitely an option that a lot of people yeah found in uh a a time period where they didn't think anything else was 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 possible i i feel like for me um i was really in a place where i was like i didn't know what to do next with my performing arts and stuff Mm -hmm. and um then vtubing just open it just proved that there's there's never even if it's not vtubing there's never just one singular path towards your dreams Mm -hmm. there's always lots of different routes and um yeah a new a new path sort of opened up and vtubing is still very new and the rules are very rules it's still the wild west it's still the wild west right now it's Uh, it's still developing a lot and i'm i'm very happy to be a vtuber and i feel like i can achieve that's so cute lots of things i i never thought i'd have been able to do seriously i was in like a i felt like before vtubing i was in like sort of a rut um and yeah i'm very i'm very happy i became a vtuber i'm very happy i found vtubers because they're cute and i love them <laughs> <laughs> they are pretty cute i'm not gonna lie they are pretty yeah. cute and uh it's it, it's really cool to see different kinds because you see all sorts of different yeah type of oh, YouTubers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all different shades all different cuts all different different people yeah. which is really which is why i i really like it a lot uh, as a person who came from another community to kind of come into this one uh it's been really fun i didn't think it was gonna like uh be something that i would be pursuing for a long period of time but it turned out yeah it, it, oh, it was what's this what are you a fan of mr streamer coefficient Got yourself a Prime Gaming? Because you linked your Amazon Prime to Twitch? Support this guy by dropping it off here so you can use emotes like this and this. Yeah. <laughs> I love voice acting. I can do like a mommy voice. I can do like a little sister voice. I, I'm, I can do so many things. Dude, can I hire you for like a second to do some of my, my sound alerts? That'd be pretty Yeah, nice. sure. We'll we'll do it when 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 you have a better mic. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. When I'm when I'm back home, I'm not in the echo chamber. <laughs> when you're not in the echo chamber, dude, that's freaking. That was great. I wasn't expecting that. That was that, that caught me by surprise. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Twitch Prime, everybody, come on now. <laughs> voice well, acting is, makes me super happy. I love doing voices. <laughs> so then, um. As a uh, VTuber, that's that's part of Opera GX, and Opera GX has probably one of the one of the the best Twitter accounts. I feel like. Because... Wait, what's Opera GX? Explain it to me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what lady. This? What is this? Is it like Yu-Gi-Oh GX? I don't no, know no, what no, it is. no, no, no. Listen up, lady. <laughs> this is I I I am not sponsored by them. <laughs> Oh, actually, hold on. I'll I'll clear this out. I'll air it out right now. I've been trying to get sponsored by them for the past year and a half. Oh shit! Um, I've been trying to. Get, I've been trying so hard. I was contemplating I putting up a big old whiteboard right here, saying, "Sponsor me, Opera GX." Oh, my management, my manager, my manager in chat has just said, "Let me hook you up." <laughs> no way! Did it work? I mean, thank you. That's, yeah. That's thank you. I manager. appreciate it. Thank you very much. I was literally about to take you hostage. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. I was actually um, gonna contemplate well, taking you hostage I mean, and not returning you. You can't really you. take the internet hostage, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, like, well, what what are you gonna do, all bro, without your VTuber? I have control. I mean, I'd be like Saw from like from those movies. It's like you have twelve hours to send me a sponsorship email, or you will not see Aura again. 
I mean, I've never been to the States. I've always wanted to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh, the, where would you want to go if there was a place like if you, you're like booking a trip to, to the US of A? Where's the where's, um, what's the state that you want to go to? I have a I have a friend that I've known since I was really young, but not really, really young, well, like 16 ish, I guess. Okay. Um, that I, I never met. I never got to meet them yet. Okay. Um, and, and they live in California. And he's a voice actor, oh, actually. Good. Um, and uh, I'd just love to meet him, you know? And so okay. I have a lot of friends in California, actually. So I just, I'd, I'd love to go there yeah. um, and go to Disney. Yeah. So, oh, Disney um, would be awesome. Have you ever yeah. been to like any Disney at all? Yeah, you've been... I mean, I've been to Paris. Okay. Um, but when I went, it wasn't owned by Disney. And Disney rebought it the year but after, rebought it the year after, and it got lots of TLC and, and looks better now. But mm -hmm. um, I, w I went to Tokyo a lot, like Disneyland, Disney Sea. So yeah, but I've yeah, never you... been to American ones or any other ones. Okay, well, you would go to California and stuff like that. That's great. Yeah, uh, Disney. Well, you've been to uh, Tokyo Disney and stuff like that. You've been actually, oh, yeah. you've lived in, uh, or you've been to Japan for for yeah. a while actually i lived so, there for seven years seven years so do you know how to speak japanese or just like yeah. here and there spot or like fluent well like i hate kanji with passion okay um, I, I, who doesn't <laughs> everyone and their mother hates kanji, even my apparently. japanese friends hate kanji yeah well, everyone hates kanji but okay yeah. so then uh man that's really good hold on i was gonna ask something but it completely flew by my mind shit well, I'm going to have oh. to get back to you on that, like after the show, or maybe it randomly come to me. Who knows? But mm. uh, no, that's really cool that you get to live in, in Japan and stuff like that. What's one thing that you would probably say that you miss about Japan the most? Oh, um, well, at the moment, the yen is, is not doing so good. So um, I miss my um, I miss a few things. Uh, okay. Family restaurants, family desu, family restaurant, restaurant, sorry. Family restaurant, also short okay. to family desu, or oh, family desu, yeah, that's fine. Family desu, um, okay. Basically, uh, there's sort of like cheap diner like fam like restaurants with lots of Western food in them. But the okay. good thing about them is they have a thing called drinku bar, nomi hodai, which means all you can drink. Um, it's not alcoholic, but it's literally like maybe like less than a dollar, and you can um drink to your heart's content. Free refills, is it, pretty much. Is it just like, is it just like, uh, like mocktails or something, or just like any uh, sodas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's loads of sodas, hot drinks, cold drinks, coffee, tea, sometimes soup, uh, depending on what time of day you go. Um, it's all you know, all set up so you just help yourself. So okay, okay. Um, so, so is it like, uh, well, then for all for a dollar or like less than a dollar or can be, depending on what you one, get. Yeah, depending if you're getting food of it. If you get food of it, it's it's around a dollar ish. Cause yeah, the the um the yen's cheap at the moment. The other thing I really miss is my bidet. <laughs> the bidet. <laughs> yeah, I miss the bidet. The bidet, man. So, uh, bidets are something that has been coming back a lot recently. I think it's because there's a lot yeah. of people that are repping them for sure. Well, well, I mean, like when I was a kid, you, I would go in those like um. You know, it's like DIY stores where they had like maybe like a model kitchen layout and stuff, or model bathroom layout. Like Home layout. Depot. Yeah, yeah, like that. They would okay. have the bathroom ones, and they would have a toilet, and then you know, like a a, a butt toilet, like you know, like a, a smaller toilet, which is like a butt sink. And that was what I thought was a bidet for years, because because that's what we call bidets in the UK. There's little like butt sinks. Um. You you might not have seen them, but they they were a, maybe like a UK thing, but not barely anyone had them. They were just randomly in some places. Um, but in Japan, mm. it it's you know got buttons and everything, and uh, my my apartment had it, and uh, it was it was beautiful. It was beautiful. I miss it every day. Yeah, <laughs> it did break one time. Um, like it's supposed to only work if you're sat on it. Um, okay. but then I stood up one day and the, the, the spray thingy came out and, and I turned around and I was like, Oh, what's going on? And it sprayed me in the face. Oh boy. <laughs> oh God. Oh my God. There yeah. was this one time speaking of bidets, boy, <clears throat> I had, 
I had a weird dream. I don't know if this is too random for you, but I'm going to tell you this dream real quick. I had a dream once. I don't think I even told Faith this. Uh, I had a dream once where I had a bidet, but everyone was apprehensive on using it because it squirted seltzer water. Oh. So if you wanted to get it clean, you would have to get it clean with a seltzer water bidet. <laughs> and everyone was around the bathroom trying to talk about who's going to be using it first. Wait. And that's all I remember. That's all I remember. I remember, and I'm not going to lie, there were a couple of content creators there that I've never met in my life. I only watched them, and that's what mm. made it so friggin' awkward. Is that there was a lot of just like, <laughs> I'll tell you right now, uh, but there were some people that were there. I'll tell you right now, Chibi was in that dream, and it was really freaking weird, okay? So it was like one of those things where it's it's like, did I just dream that? Like, what the hell's going on? And I, I promise I would take it with me to the grave until we brought up bidets. Maybe some people would enjoy it? I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't be apprehensive. I'd try it. I do know, though, like, in Japan, there are still a lot of public toilets that use the old-style Japanese toilet, but most, if not all, toilets you'll find in, in shopping centers... Is that the squatting are, one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've been in a queue for a toilet before in Japan, and then finally got to the toilet, and it's the squatting one, and I'm like, <laughs> oh. Okay, never mind. I, I love I how you say you queued up. It's like a like a match of Overwatch or something. <laughs> yeah, I queued up for the bathroom. Did you realize that Q is just Q with four letters after it? Like, wait, wait, wait. Like Q, how do you spell it? Like Q U E I E U. You spell you spell Q Q U E U E. So it's just Q. The word Q is just the letter Q with four random letters that, that aren't needed afterwards. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Holy shit. It's like K. But yeah. it's not. It's just the letter K with two letters attached to it. Well, some people some people spell OK as O-K-E-Y, O-K-A-Y, or just OK. OK. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Like, OK, just two letters attached to it for the most part. <laughs> um, so then you're a, a big fan of music you refer to the performing yeah. arts and stuff like that um, music is something that is it's so broad there's so many different artists so many different genres wow. singers all that good jazz uh, what are some music that you listen to um, oh I listen to a lot of J-pop idols okay so um, you like the J-pop stuff like mm, the idol and I, I like music. yeah I like K-pop you know, ah, growing, K-pop. Yeah, growing up, there wasn't really people around me that liked K-pop and J-pop. Mm. But there was a few, there was a few K-pop artists that, like my friends, who would never be into anime or anything like anything K-pop, J-pop, anything related to that, like that. They were just like, "Oh yeah, have you heard of a group called the Wonder Girls from JYP?" And I was like, oh, "What is it? Like, how, how did you how did you find out about this?" Um, but now I think like a lot of young people know J-pop and K-pop, well, K-pop especially. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, like when I was a kid, uh, I didn't really have any friends who liked anime or J-pop. So most of the time I was just singing Japanese music at home and, and wondering like, um, will I ever get to share this with my friends and stuff? Um, but then, you know, the internet allowed me to make friends who are also into J-pop and stuff. Um, especially like growing up. When I started to learn Japanese, I I I got really good at pronunciation because I was singing in Japanese first, so that okay. definitely helped. Um, yeah. Uh, and okay. uh, what else? Do you <laughs> have anything uh, more like? Do Do you listen to any American music? You know, like oh yeah, 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 Swift, of course, of course. yeah, Britney, um, Aguilera. Stefani and all those. Um, Rihanna, especially. I love Rihanna. But I, I'm very into musicals. I've always been into musicals. Okay, musicals are nice. Yeah. There's some musicals yeah. I like, but some of them that are... I, I don't really care for it too much, unless it's a musical that's a banger. I mean, uh, I mean I'm mean, i pretty sure you've, you've heard of a little musical called, like, you know, Hamilton. Uh, that's probably one that uh, is probably one of my favorites. 
mostly yeah, because yeah, it's made by yeah. a Puerto Rican. So <laughs> I've heard of Hamilton. Uh, for me, my favorite musical is Les Miserables. Les Mis? Les Mis. I took two years of French, and oh. we watched Les Mis, the old one. Do you speak and French? I only know how to say one thing. I only know how to it? say, s'il vous plaît, donnez-moi un bonbon. Bonbon. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I know how to say. Okay. All right. Uh, bonjour, je ne parle pas. Je suis anglais. Uh, J'habite en anglais. In, in anglais. Uh, I took, oh man, I took French for five years, but my school had a really shitty system that was like French one week, Spanish the next week. And then, you know, they're very similar, right? So I can barely remember any French or Spanish from my school days. For five oh. years. That's really bad, isn't it? Um, I mean, it's not that bad. Not like me, you know. Uh, luckily, I'm fluent in Spanish, so I can't really forget oh. that. I, uh, I, I, have, I did try and relearn Spanish a couple of years ago, so... Uh, oh, yeah? Hola, me llamo. Won't you give hola, it a try? Uh, ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás, Sora? ¿Cómo estás? Bien, ¿cómo estás? Todo bien, todo bien por aquí. ¿Y usted? ¿Cómo está todo por allá? Uh, lo siento, no habla español. ¿Qué, ¿Qué carajo me está diciendo que tú, que, tú, que tú puedes hablar español y quieres hablar español y si no quieres hablar español ahora? Sí. Anyways. Sí, I don't remember anything. Anyways, I'm I, I pretty much uh, I've taken two years of Sp uh, of no not Spanish French and I took two years of German, and that one's even worse because I didn't oh, enjoy my German class at all. Yeah, I actually in school I was supposed to take basically we got to the like um fifteen when I was like fifteen we finished what like what needed to be done for the French, um and then. They were like, do you want to continue with your Spanish or do you want to take something new? I was like, oh, I'll take something new. Um, and they were like, oh, we have Chinese and German. And um, I was like, yeah, okay, I'll try Chinese. Not enough people signed up for Chinese, so they put me in German. Oh. Um, but I don't remember any of it. My school had a weird system, right, though. So if you were, basically, you, the one week um, French and the one week Spanish system, basically, you were in, you were in the class with the same people, right? So um, it was like the same level. But if you were really good at French, but okay at Spanish, you'd be moved up in both classes. Um, but if you were like really bad at both, you'd be moved down. If you were really bad at one, you'd be moved down. So because it had to keep you in the same, like same people pretty much. Okay. So okay. midway through one year, um, we had a French test and Spanish test. Spanish test, I did okay. But the French test, I did really amazing. So they bumped me up a set. And, um, but because they bumped, they didn't just bump me up class for French. They have to do it for Spanish as well. Because you can't just be in, in like set two for Spanish, set one for French. You have to be in set one for everything. So what the hell? I, That's so funny. I, they put me up for both. And... My Spanish teacher was really mean to me because I can't roll my R's. Oh, pendejo, huh? Mm. Mm, lo siento. <laughs> lo siento. No, uh, pendejo <laughs> means he's he's a son of he's he's an asshole. He's a pendejo. A, pendejo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pendejo. He's a, pendejo. Canto pendejo. Canto cabrón. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Pendejo, <laughs> yeah. Canto cabrón, hijo puta, mama bicho. Um, all, all that, that stuff. Puerco. But puerco is a good one, yeah. Puerco is well. If you want to say puerco, there's a funny word for it. So puerco is is pig. Uh, uh -huh. but you, you also can say cochino. Oh, what's that? Cochino. Mean? And that means like gross. Like you're you're pig. Uh, Unsaca like, puntas. A what? What you say? Unsaca puntas. Unsaca puntas. Like sh that, that, that's a sharpener for a pencil. Oh yeah, I guess so. Sorry, that I we were talking about like insulting people. So like when you randomly uh, said, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my I, I get that. My limited Spanish from my my classes in sacapuntas. Um, sacapuntas. Yeah, that's yeah, very. Yeah, yeah. I think that's very South American. 
because uh, <laughs> I don't think we call it un sacapuntas. But uh, I will say, if you want to call someone, um, mm. my, I'll, I'll give you one insult that you can give to anybody, and you can. This this is basically um something that you can take with you every everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Uh, called uh, my favorite one of my favorite insults is pendejo, but one that I like to teach people is come mierda. Is so, come. Mean? Come? Mierda. What is, wait, what does it mean? It means, uh, so what it pretty much means, uh, literally, it's a shit eater. Oh, because, ah, uh, like, nerd in, in French. Ah. Uh. Like, mierda. Oh, my God, it is. You're right. I just unlocked that. That's right. Yeah, um, that's that's yeah. why I was all confused between French and Spanish, because they're very similar. Yeah. Um. I will Italian, say, though, French, Spanish, and Spanish. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, and yes. Portuguese. They have like that that strand of Latin, and then the others, and then there's English, and then there's German, which is like uh katafel salat for potato salad. Um, <laughs> what was the one that uh Argen Spagen Bagen Spielen something? Some, I don't some, something like uh, butterfly is is really tricky. Yeah. Um, but the 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 thing is with the Spanish they teach in the UK, it's not. Um, Southern American Spanish. It's Spain Spanish. So, um, you know, I was, never taught, I was never taught como estas. I was always taught, all right, you have to say, que tal? Que tal? Yeah, that's very Castellano. That, so, uh, Spanish is uh, Castellano uh, Spanish, which is just. Schmetterling! Spanish. That's butterfly in, in uh, German. German, yeah. There's a lot of funny words in German. But, uh, uh, no, yeah, that, that's, that's really cool that you learn all these languages and stuff like that. So you're mostly fluent in, like, English and, and Japanese. Well, well, you can hold up. Well, your, did you say I'm up. mostly fluent in English? Hang on. <laughs> mostly <laughs> fluent in English? Mostly. <laughs> well, somewhat. No. I don't, well, I, yeah. I, I, you're, you're better than me. That's for sure. Because I really bad at English. I mean, I mean, I am, I am, I am British. You know, that might. Yeah, you're you're kind of your, your English is kind of good, you know. Oh, it, thanks. It's, it's I, right, you know, it's I. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I will I will agree with Sai Kans in the chat who said it's a stupid language. You don't realize how stupid English is until you live abroad and see how hard it is for the learners to learn it. Like you know, there's a lot of those videos where it's like uh, some nasty woman or man or whoever. Getting on at um, someone whose native language isn't English, but they're trying their best to speak English, right? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. It's it's English is so hard. It's so hard. It's so stupid, if you dummy meet, hard. Yeah, if you meet someone who's trying super hard to speak English, even and, and they're making mistakes, you should be applauding them because they're trying their hardest, man. English is so hard. It's dummy hard. It really is. And also, is. like. The amount of people I know in this country that, you know, just expect to go to other countries and everyone to speak English to them is it's quite a big percentage. Like, especially, I mean, around Europe, I, I like Europeans are like, there's quite a lot of English speakers. So, but like, the, you know, I've met like some English speakers who've come, who've come, gone to Japan and try to speak English to just in convenience stores and just get really obnoxious when the person doesn't know how to speak English back. And mm -hmm. I, I've been in, I've been in a convenience store before in, in, in Japan. And I can see the fear in the convenience store workers eyes. And they're like, ah, oh, shit, it's a foreigner. I'm going to have to speak English. And, and then and, you're like, yeah, well, the, the, they'll try it first. They'll be like, uh, 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 how many, or like, they'll say something like in, you know, they'll try their best of English. Um, but then I'm like, I don't this Nihongo ga hanesimasa na nonde, go yukuri nihongo de, and I'm gonna ishani shi ano hanesimasa shoka toka. Nihongo jozu! Like, um, I, they, they're like, ah, oh, yukata, oh, thank goodness. The funniest thing though. <laughs> I hear is, a lot of stories like that, by the way. The, the funniest thing though is like, um, I always applaud people for trying to speak English, even if it, it's broken, they're trying really hard, but. I sometimes when I was in the supermarket, I would say like "arigato gozaimasu," like I'd say like "oh arigato gozaimasu," like "thank you," and then the 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 person at the counter would be like oh, "nihongo josu this," and it, like I said one fucking word, <laughs> and you think my nihongo is josu? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, hold on a minute. Uh, just uh, I I want to make sure I'm using that term correctly. Nihongo josu is that mean that you're a you're 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 a Japanese speaker? 
it means good at Japanese. Jōzu is like good at something. So if I said oh, like okay. um uh, if I said like um to you, haishin suru koto ga jōzu desu ne like um you're good at streaming. Um oh, okay. uta koto ga jōzu. If I said that like me I'd say like um well, I mean, you'd have to state the subject first. Like, watashi wa utau koto ga jōzu desu. Utau mo not ga. Um, well, basically, jōzu means good at something. Um, I got a Japanese dictionary so, in my DMs now. I'm so happy. <laughs> Nihongo, Nihongo o jōzu means good at Japanese. Ego o jōzu means good at English. So you Ego, jōzu, that's right. Like, yeah, lego jōzu, my ego. Yeah. Jōzu, jōzu just means good at something. Like, um, uh, uh, if I said like, um, wait, what, what are you good at? What are you good at? Uh, good at swimming. Nata wa oyogu koto o jōzu desu ne. Like, oyogu, oyogu is the verb to, uh, swim. Oyogu. So, yeah. Okay. I see. Oyogu, Jozu. Oyogu. Desne. <laughs> well, you need you need some particles in there and stuff too, but um. Okay. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah. So. That's good. Okay. Wait, I thought Koa oh, hate water. What fucking lie? What what's going on? Do you not like swimming? No, I I I I'm good at swimming. I never said I liked it. Ah. Yeah, I never said I liked it. No, I, I mean like I like swimming in a pool. That that pool's fine. <clears throat> mm, mm, mm. It's when it's any other mass of water he drowned in, in wow he drowned in, in you don't need to look at chat yeah just chat oh. is you don't you don't need to look at chat uh but wow. i did want to ask i did want to <clears throat> i didn't want to <throat> ask last thing before we move on uh to the segment is uh with opera gx would you ever want um any gen mates oh yeah like that would be nice because the thing is right um they treat me very lovely um mm -hmm. they treat me very well and i'm well looked after my manager has so many amazing things lined up for me and is working super hard and mm. even when i message him at like midnight and it's 2 a.m for him He'll still reply. <laughs> wow. What and, manager son? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and I think if, if other people were, were I, like, if I was ever to be joined by anyone, mm -hmm. um, that they would be, they would be well taken care of and have a really wonderful time. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not just, I'm not just speaking like, you know, oh, it's my company. I have to say nice things. No, I'm, I'm speaking. I'm reading from a script, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm genuinely speaking that um uh yeah I'm I'm treated very uh, lovely and um my manager is really kind um uh whenever I'm worried about something cuz I'm a warrior I'm a warrior that's one of my flaws mm -hmm. like I worry about every single detail every time every time like there's a sound issue I get super worked up about it um but I get that. He's, just, he's, just, he's just like oh, I didn't hear anything and I'm just like <laughs> <laughs> so, uh so yeah i uh, he's he's great um that's awesome. as for gem mates i i would love i would love one day um i mean okay i'd like two i'd like two now hear me out <laughs> i want two <laughs> okay want she's two. getting greedy now all right want, go for it i want two i want one who's green and one who's yellow because i am red and then yellow, and then green. It looks like a traffic light. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, good and point. And then we could, we could, we could release. We could be a unit called Traffic Light, and then release an original song called Ready, Set, Go, or something. I don't know. It'd be very cute. Holy um, shit! You put in some thought. <laughs> wow. I think about a lot of things. Like I've, I've already thought of my future dog names and everything. Um, a future? What? What was it? I told her about Kevin. Uh, for yeah. my viewers, do you want to see the dog? Yes, please. I promised yes, her that please. I would show the pug because I guess she's obsessed with pugs, just like Facebook. Yes, pugs. yes, I am. I am. I want to see. Show me the dog. He's, show he's me the fine. dog. 
She's she's going to get him. And Faith was like, show her Kevin now. I'm like, okay. Kevin! Come, come dog. Come dog. Not my chair. Kevin. He's deaf. He's very deaf. This is Kevin the Pug. Yeah. Yeah, that that's Kevin. He's Why a, do I want to take the well, color off? What? He's a, oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Hola, como estas, Kevin? Actually, he is Spanish, apparently. Oh, is he? They got him from, like, a Mexican family or something. Oh, look, I'm going to wave to Kevin. I'm going to wave to Kevin. Wave to Kevin. Yes. Just Hi, like Kevin. That. Hi, yeah. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's Kevin. He's a pug. He's, he's a dog. Oh, yeah, good and, boy. Uh, he's, he's old. He's an old man. Oh. He's, like, he's, like, 10 now, right? Yeah, he's he's like the. It's funny because a couple of things. I'll tell him a couple. Tell you a couple of things about him. He's like one of the healthiest pugs ever. That's good. Cool. That's good. That's good. Which is an unheard of because mm-hmm. like, pugs have difficulties. Yeah, you can you can get surgery for that, and I know he's in the had UK surgery. they're trying to. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, he's had like what two surgeries? Yeah. It's to help them breathe, right? Yes. And, yeah. And then, that's right. In the UK, they're trying to like if if you want to breed your pug in the UK, you they have to go f- to the vet and do like a test to, and if they don't pass, they're not allowed to legally breed. <laughs> so, oh, really? They're trying to breed out the bad um, traits that, that oh, affect wow. their health. So interesting. Yeah. No, but yeah. He's... Some countries have banned them completely. It's so sad. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. There's some European countries that have just banned like the breeding of uh, flat-based dogs. Um, and some, some airlines don't let them on, you know, but they, they're trying really hard to, uh, they're trying really hard to breed out the bad things. So, um, oh, look at he's, 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 yeah, he's, uh, he's like, he's, uh, it's funny because Faith has literally like a, uh, championship bred dog. Like this dog is perfect for dog shows. And I think he's been approached a couple times. He's been approached Cause a couple so times because he, 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 he's like his nose is a little bit more longer than normal. And yeah, his yeah, yeah. His tail double. has a double curl and his back <gasps> is actually like, oh. and he's fit. Show, show me the tail. Show me the tail. It might be broken. I don't know. He just woke up. <laughs> show me that Kevin, booty. fix your tail. Oh! <laughs> no, he's not gonna fix he it just, right now. He just woke up. He's always he sleeping. Just, he woke up from his nap. What a good okay. boy! There you go. Yeah, his oh, his tail's up now. You missed it, but yeah, that's that's Kevin. That's uh, that's the pug. I promised her I would show uh, Kevin. Uh, yeah, he's got his balls chopped off. He's he's a eunuch. Uh, well, yeah. I, I mean, I guess that would make me sad if I had my balls chopped off. But I don't have both to begin with, so. <laughs> you know, you know what's really funny? I saw a question on the internet that really, I don't think I've ever been stunlocked by a question ever before in my life. Okay. Somebody on the internet said, you will probably go your entire life without your balls hitting the sunlight. And that just and- fucking floored me. I saw a video. Because it's true. I don't think my my, my balls have ever touched sunlight. I saw a video of two people. They were laying down. Okay, I didn't see, obviously, the the bits. Um, They were laying down, holding their legs up, and they were sunbathing. And it was like, they were, they were like, have you, the whole thing was like, you've never sunbathed. You never done, done this for your, you know, downstairs areas and stuff. And I'm just thinking, isn't that sensitive? Like, if they get some, but like, what the hell? Um, that's gonna there's be very no painful, immunity right? down there. No, yeah, there's... no. <laughs> my my balls are neats. Okay, they're they're introverts. They they will not go out. <laughs> wait, wait, what? It, that sounds. 
Oh well, that, that's just that, that's just how it is. It's they the you know, introvert extrovert. Anyways, that's uh yeah, except if you're like sunbathe or something like that, and you're like part of a like a yeah, but like colony or yeah, but at the same time, like uh no, I, I <laughs> so the, the way you said it, just the way you said. It. I'm sorry, the way you said. The, I mean, Dave like, put it. Dave put it in the chat. What? What did? What did? What did she say? What did you say? What did you say? <laughs> my balls never dropped. Is that what you said? Oh my god. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right. So. With that being said, uh, every single time I, I have an in the whole episode with somebody, I try to do a segment with them. But I thought it would be oh. appropriate since uh, you just barely debuted and we're still getting to know you and stuff like that. I thought asking some questions uh, would be really good. From And I went ahead and I asked uh, my yeah. community. Uh, my community, my Discord is like, what would be something that you would want to ask Aura? Which is, uh, you know, after I, I filled it out and I'm like, I finished it. I'm like, this is kind of weird. She's a streamer. You can just go to her stream and just fucking ask her but i guess <laughs> uh, this is fine too this is fine content i guess yeah um so uh i'm gonna go ahead and show you some questions that uh were uh asked by my discord so i'm gonna go ahead and boot this up over here so if you go to uh the both screen faith and you go to on the on uh, the browser uh there should be a screen well, that's my YouTube. <laughs> uh, but then there's a tab that's, that has the, the, the questions oh, oh, over okay. there. Uh, to the right, a uh, little to the right a little bit. A uh, little bit to the left. Uh, hey, right there, right there, right there. Right there. Oh, sorry. Right there. There we go. Okay. Okay, let me see. Let me get this going. See, I will, I will, I will do this for her. And then I will also... Uh, I will also share this with you as well, so you can see these questions through Discord. Uh, where's the, there you are. Okay, there we go. And then I will go ahead and do this. Bam, just like that. And if we go on Discord, we'll share the screen with you. Hopefully you can see that. Can you see that? Yep. Oh, beautiful. Okay. I hear do do do's as well. Oh, oh. <laughs> I guess. We can... Do you 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 can mute that, right? <laughs> yeah, I can mute it. Okay, yeah, I forgot. Well, it's already <laughs> up, and she she could close out of it. All right. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this going. Um, these are some of the questions. This is the AMA and stuff like that. And then uh, Faith mm -hmm. will be switching back and forth between uh, the screens and our screen and your screen and my screen, all that good jazz. Okay. But uh, but yeah, this is something that I have been wanting to do. And uh, we got some pretty interesting uh, questions on there as well, which will be uh, really fun, actually. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked about it. So let's go ahead and go into the first one. Okay. So uh, this one is, uh, do you enjoy playing or watching horror games? And if you do, Silent Hill or Resident Evil? question mark no i hate horror i i really i mean i played the quarry but that's not really i don't consider that horror but what's the quarry is that like um it's like um an indie horror game no so like you know detroit become human those sort of games um like oh uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Rain. it's like that sort of style where you have to pick choices and there's multiple endings and, and, and oh the, it, it's the mocap thing like until stuff. dawn yeah, 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 and the quarry okay. is one about okay. werewolves, so it's a little bit spooky. It's made by the people who made Until Dawn, I think, maybe? Um, oh, maybe. Maybe. Well, probably, but, I played Until um, Dawn once, but... Okay. But uh, I'm, not into, I'm not into horror games, to be honest, because uh, I'm not that good at quick time events, so... Um, and I, I get scared easily. Uh, oh, so on. no, I don't like horror. No, 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 no. But I, I, I'm with you on that. I don't like horror either. Uh, have you played any of these Silent Hill or Resident Evil games at all? No, no, not at all. And, you know, it is October. Yeah. I, Are you going to do anything? No, I'm I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> I'm not going to do... Not even, you know, I'm on the same boat with you. I hate horror media. Everything about horror. 
I just I don't like it. I don't like mm-hmm. horror films. I don't like horror movies. I don't like horror shows. I don't like horror games. But October is that one time of the year where I break out of that shell and I'm like, okay, guys, you only get this month, so I will you know, oblige. I used to play a game called The Movies, which is pretty much like movie lot simulator where you can make your own movies you can choose which scenes are in one you have to you have to choose like from a genre of course like you Uh sci-fi and like trivia type stuff right um no no no, it's not trivia um it's it's literally like a simulation game called the movies um you had a you had a movie lot you got to um make your own movies um with the little characters in the in it but you could only you couldn't like you know direct them it was like you had to pick the scenes and put them in order and and you had genres you had to fit and stuff like that mm. it's a really old game it was made by lion gate um i loved it super loved it but even when i was tasked with like the task was like you have to you have to make a, a horror game i uh, know a horror movie i wouldn't make that scary i mean you couldn't really make it too scary but like yeah i didn't even want to make them scary but, okay uh, yeah i hate horror i hate horror so much well, there you go. Maybe, maybe uh, her audience, maybe us, you know, the uh, the aura audience can uh, convince her a little bit of convincing. No. You know what I mean? No, no, just a no. little bit of convincing. It can be pretty okay. persuasive. If, if we hit, if we hit four four billion uh, followers, that's um, not that hard, um, guys. Come on, now. efficient <laughs> channel. Um... No, 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 not me. <laughs> let's, let's go into aura. All right, fine, fine. All right, let's move on to the next question then. So, being a browser gremlin, you must have stumbled across countless memes. Lots of them. What's your favorite one? Um, Kermit sipping tea is pretty good. Oh, Kermit sipping tea? <laughs> yeah, okay. that's a pretty good one. Um, this is, It's kind of a classic, but I did like Doge. He passed away recently, didn't he? Oh, um, the Doge you know, dog? dog? Like, yeah, some, uh... some people call it doggy Doge. I you think know, the, it's Doge the, 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 is the perfect Yeah, I think it's it. Doge, too. It's a, this is like Shiba. Yeah, it's uh, like the, the um, Shiba Inu, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. that's sad. It's a classic. Um, that is, okay. Yeah, stuff like Any that. Any recent ones um, that you've seen that you're like, oh, that's a good meme? Uh, let me think. Um... <laughs> okay, this is very recent. But okay. it's the guy who plays Paul Blart. <laughs> the, um, what's his oh, face? Oh, Kevin James? <laughs> Kevin James. <laughs> Uh-huh. I love that picture. Wait, what? Hold on, I haven't seen this one. Wait, it's just it's just everyone posting a picture of Kevin James smiling. Yeah, uh, hold on, Faith pulling it up for me. Actually, if you want, you can try to pull it up on uh, another... Oh, maybe not. Here, what is that? He <laughs> just looks so wholesome. What the hell? What is that face? So is is like this one? Like, uh, yeah, it's just it's just Kevin James being just being like, hey, what's up? Yeah, it's that just one right like, there. Yeah, I don't know. People, the whole thing itself isn't yes. funny. It's just you know, there's a picture of him, but like people that. were putting like quotes, and then they added tits to him. And um, the, the VTubers were quoting it, saying like, when the when you want jiggle figures, uh, figures, um, jiggle physics. Sorry, not figures. Figures. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um when you want um jiggle physics on your um on your model and stuff like that um Okay, beautiful. I think we should be back. Hello? Hello? Dude, Hello? that was crazy, the, the bro. The freeze frame was so funny. It's like just you looking at you looking at um Kevin James with like a shocked expression. Dude. <laughs> Kevin James just dude, I, I or if you if you if you just saw what I just saw, did you see the picture of Kevin James, but with massive boobies? Yes. Yeah, massive, huge boobs. 
Yeah, I mean, they are huge. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, stop it. Okay, there we go. Much better. Yeah, we're resizing. Nice. Uh, yeah, just to... That's Here, what it I'll, is. I'll it. That, it, it's okay. It's my... That's what it was, and uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what broke my stream. That's what broke the... <laughs> It, okay. Change this boobs. Oh, uh, I think I might have to. Okay. Uh, uh anyways. Okay. Uh yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh we went down for a second. Kevin James massive titties broke the stream. So uh we have to kind of go back. We we had to restart. Nice. That that was my my old stinger, but it's it, it's okay. <laughs> we're good. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Um yeah, let's continue on. Sorry about that. So, okay, yeah, your fine. favorite your favorite recent meme just broke my stream. Great. Thank you, Aura. Appreciate Sorry. That. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and continue on. Uh, Sorry, what are some of your favorite James JRPGs, huh? Um, um Persona, Yakuza, um Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts. Wow. Yeah, yeah you have a yeah, Wait, is Yakuza a JRPG? Yeah. Okay. I would I didn't even consider that. But okay, Kingdom Hearts, dude, Kingdom Hearts is so freaking good. So wait, how how many oh. have you played all of them? Yes. <laughs> okay, them. good. So are you you you're up to date? Are, would you say that you yeah. know your lore? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Goofy dies in Kingdom Hearts too. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Spoiler alert, by the way. Uh, it's been out since like 2004. It's fine. Nah, it's fine, I guess. Yeah, she's one of us. Chat. I'm. I'm very happy about that. Can okay. Or do Mickey laugh? Yeah, I can do Mickey's voice. Do it. Oh, 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 oh boy, gosh. Oh, hi, Sora. Kingdom Hearts is light. Goofy is dead in the door of darkness, and uh, oh, Riku, and and then Sora's oh, like, Riku, you son of a bitch. Riku, I need to I need to find Riku and Kyrie. Oh, Sora, stop fucking around over there. Find oh, the boy. key. Keep, oh key. boy. Keyblade. Keyblade. Do you see my nice shiny golden keyblade? But to... Mickey, we we need to find Riku in the door to darkness in Kingdom Hearts' is light. And and hold on, Sora, oh, I'm pressing Jeff Bezos for this golden keyblade. And Goofy died. Oh no! <laughs> it's about <laughs> time. South Park Mickey. Well, South Park. Wait, if you could do South Park Mickey, you can do South Park Mr. Hanky. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's it's a Christmas pool. Oh. Oh, I think I have. I don't know. I don't watch South Park, but I heard a lot about I don't, it. I haven't watched it in years, but I think I. I know the South Park Mickey um, one is, is, I think it's, there was a big one about the Jonas Brothers episode where they had <laughs> their, their rings. Um, oh, man. I could probably yeah. go. I, I see a lot of YouTube videos on like top 10 South Park controversies or top 10 so time South Park got it right or whatever the hell it is. Top but, time uh, uh, Simpsons predicted the future. Yeah. that. Oh, that's another one. Oh, my <laughs> God, dude. Uh, but yes, okay, great. So, favorite JRPGs. Uh, what would you say mm. you, the one that you would take to an island? What's a JRPG you would take to an island? Play forever. Uh, probably Kingdom Hearts. Let's go, baby! That's what I'm yeah. talking about! As much as I recently loved the Yakuza series, like, I only got into it back in, like, 2021. A little bit before Same. that, but, like, um... I think um, uh, Kingdom Hearts just has so much stuff I could never do. Um, and especially free is fantastic. Kingdom Hearts free is wonderful. Apart from the uh, Frozen world. Um, <laughs> I didn't need to hear her song again. Jesus Christ, I fucking hated it. Um, <laughs> but um... That's good. No, Kingdom Hearts would be the one that I would take. I would learn how to speedrun it, all that good jazz. So I'm so glad... 
she's a Kingdom Hearts Andy. Like, Wait, I'm so this. happy about that. The, the reason you don't understand the incredible simple story of Kingdom Hearts 3 is because you never played Kingdom Hearts 4 20 over 69 days, uh, in which Sora does the fusion dance with Kakarot to unleash his Bankai, setting the stage for Kingdom Hearts 0.1919, uploading my heart, where Xanar travels back in time to Martin McFly to stop the Libyans from getting access to Metal Gear Sahalanthrop. Puzzle, uh, so yeah, that one. Gosh, I can't believe you can't even say it right. Uh, it's clearly Sahalan Um, which is data from Sora in the form of PlayStation 1 memory card. Uh... <laughs> I love that copy pasta. It's one of my favorites. So I, I have a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thing in my chat called uh, Charlie Chatlin. He's been uh, on hiatus for a little bit. He's coming back. Okay. Uh, Charlie Chatlin is uh, a, the chat Muppet, and uh, they speak through it, and we have this thing oh, called SSML, like and it fluctuates the voice uh, of the of the text-to-speech. So oh. I have a clip, a TikTok. I made it into a TikTok. It's a, it's a Charlie Chatlin coming in, and he's basically reciting that exact same copy pasta, but in a high-pitched Brian voice. So he is, you know. <laughs> the reason why you don't understand <laughs> the, the the incredibly complex story of Kingdom Hearts one you point sound Irish. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> sound <not> Irish. <laughs> well, I do have a ting for that, you know. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Anyways, JRPGs, Kingdom Hearts, it's Kingdom yeah. Hearts supremacy. That's what I'm talking about. All right, next up. Yeah. What do we have? What's the next question here? We can also press spacebar, pretty sure. Oh, oh maybe not. It's, it's not working. I don't know if it's your keyboard or what. Uh, maybe my keyboard. Oh, there you go. I, I'll it's get a new one for you next time. I, I will, I will. Okay. Uh, do you have any goals when it comes to collabs? Anyone in particular you'd love to uh, love to interact with or must play or a must play game you want to play with someone? <laughs> Who's your dream collab, huh? <laughs> I guess. I I is it with uh with with, with Kiara? You. Yeah? yeah. You wanna play with Kiwawa? Yeah. You wanna play with Kiwawa? What would you wanna play with her? Oh, anything. I, I wanna talk to her about many things. So. You know what's really cute? Like you're so uh, because of technical difficulties, like she's this small, but that just makes it even cuter when she starts gushing about Kiara. Just like she's so small now, she's like a little stick I, of ram. I, I I really I really respect her for for many 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 reasons, and I'm a big KFP, um, so ah. which is Kiara's fan base. So um, that's awesome. I, I've been been since 2020. Um, uh, I guess I'm an OG KFB, but I used to be very shy and I never, I never typed in chat, ever. Um, Damn but, it! Look uh, at you now. You can type in chat. Yeah, now. Uh, <laughs> yeah she modded me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I would love to collab with her and talk about lots of different things. So we have very similar interests. Um, uh, same with Pomu from Niji Sanji. I'd love to collab with her. And I have one of my dream collabs tomorrow morning. I'm waking up at 5 a.m. to do it um, with my family, with Mary, Uni, and Zentreo. Oh, what are you guys doing? I was going to play Party Animals, I think. So. Oh, I think that's a. That, that, I haven't seen the game, but I've seen uh, people playing it like on the Twitch directory. Like. Yeah. Play like party like I saw Zen playing it like party I, animals. I tried to play it recently on stream, nice but hook. my laptop. Oh, thank you. My laptop that I'm on, um, because I'm not at home, is uh really really bad. So uh, it just it just didn't work out very well. Mm. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm I'm not gonna be streaming. I think someone else is gonna be streaming it. So but you're um, gonna be with them. You're gonna be hanging out with them, having yeah, a good time. I am. So hey, yeah. she had Zen. Do you know earlier she was like, "Yeah, I love Zen," and now you're gonna be talking with Zen tomorrow. Yeah, I also, I I recently was on Kyo Kanako's uh, channel and I got to speak to Anna. And Anna is someone I've always looked up to because she's got such an amazing singing voice. Oh my god, it's um, crazy! She's got a crazy yeah. set of pipes. 
And I got to show, I got to do my mummy voice for her. I was so, so happy. Wait, your mommy voice? Hold on. What I told you voice? earlier I, I can do like Oh, you a, did say uh, you had a mommy voice, voice but yeah. at this point, it's like whenever someone tells me like they have a mommy voice, it's like someone tells me that they have an iPhone. It's like, of course you do. Yeah, you I know? have. I can do I can do mommy or I can do little sister. All little right, mommy. do mommy. Go for it. <clears throat> ara, ara, yiko dane. Wow. And that then was... and then <laughs> And then and then little little sister is like <clears throat> Onicha. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, don't do that anymore. It takes me back to the to to like <laughs> what I want like Edo Manga Sensei stop. <laughs> Senpai Oh jeez. I told you I like I like doing voices. The voices. Those are really good. The those voices. those were really good. I do Ash Ketchum as well. Oh shit! Like English? Yeah. I really, <laughs> really, really love my Pikachu. Me and my Pikachu have been on so many journeys together. I I I, I have feelings for for my my Pikachu that just friendship isn't enough. I want to be with my Pikachu forever. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> well, too bad now he's freaking done. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah you got the championship. <laughs> he's he's out of here, dude. Wow! Yeah. I also do Kermit. Okay. Oh, let me see your Kermit. Kermit the Frog here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Miss Piggy. <laughs> uh, me and me and Miss Piggy, uh, we're going through a, a rough patch. Uh, turns out, uh, Frog can't get a pig pregnant. Um, so, uh, yeah, we are going through a divorce! Yay! Oh, yes, I love the... Boom! Divorce! <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Your, divorce! Your comment's so good! Your comment's so good! <laughs> what about Shakira? Shakira's just... La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> I love that there's a TikTok of a guy going like, Shakira, Shakira, como estas? Puede, puede uh, cantar para mi? La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny anyways all right let's move on to the next question that's good kiara uh and uh i imagine so we say as well but kiara yeah, for sure. oh, oh gosh yeah Hana, all right Anna, all right so many so many all right what is the largest animal you think you could knock out a sing with a single punch oh um despite my dancing background i am a very weak person so probably like a hamster. No, you're being too modest. You 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 could punch a pug. You no, can knock it. I wouldn't out. dare to be. <laughs> you can dare. knock out a pug. Like if no! you punch Kevin, you can you can you can no! knock him out. I wouldn't punch Kevin. What the hell? Do not stop my stream. <laughs> it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. You're not gonna do it. I'm just saying hypothetically, I would okay, give you but permission. What would you? How about you? What like a, a horse? Peter, a horse is. <laughs> Peter, oh my god, the Family Guy. Peter. Yeah, Are you can you punch a horse? Uh, like anywhere I want. Yeah, I could probably knock. What, out. What, okay, what's the largest mammal you you think you could knock out? A llama. Uh, no, those things spit. Those things spit really so I can knock much. it out. I, I I could do it. I can knock it out. You know, my friend Yolki, she said she could um she could take on a kangaroo and I'll, and no, everyone else in the lab no, was no, like, no. no, you fucking can't. No, no you I'm fucking not fucking can't. with a kangaroo, no. No way. Those things are beefy, man. No, yeah. No. That's that's <laughs> that's a funeral waiting to happen, all right? Vaya con yeah. Dios. <laughs> that's it is done. All right. Well, okay. Uh, a hamster. Very nice. Very, very, very modest of you. I, I think you can <laughs> knock out a pug. Um, can you touch your elbows together? Who the fuck put this in? Who the hell? Hold on a minute. Yeah, I can. I can, but um, I think the 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 part the the Kevin James um edit parts um do get in the way. So you can touch your elbows together. I kind of can, but 
the Kevin James um photoshopped extra parts get in the way. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I see. I see. Well, there's your answer. <laughs> mm-hmm. Can I touch my elbows? Like barely. There we go. I got it. I got him. That was no, a little bit of a struggle. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I went to the gym, so my chest hurts. So, yeah, like my chest hurts. But I, I can touch him. I can touch him. You think Kevin Anyways. James can? With the, with the big, with the big. No, <laughs> no shot. <laughs> no <laughs> shot. Uh, absolutely not. He would probably get to the pepperonis and, and call it a day. It. All right. Next question. What would be one superpower that you do not want? Um, um so I, I've seen <laughs> a few shit shorts. on superpowers. I like that. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've seen a few shorts recently that were like unfortunate powers that X Men characters have had, and th- there's been stuff like um, just the power to like. Uh, there's there was one that had like a body just full of eyes, like everywhere on their body was just eyes. Oh god, that would be awful. But that's more like a mutation, right? I guess if you're st- talking like the standard superpowers, yeah, guess, standard like, superpowers because mutations like are, are flight, different. Yeah, flight, invisibility, stuff like that. Yeah, um, the generic shit. Yeah. Oh, I I wouldn't like to read people's minds because I think you'd be so fucking paranoid. I, you know what? That's a good one. That's actually yeah. a, a pretty good one. You would probably see some pretty sh- crazy. Yeah. You know, like in Spy yeah, yeah, X yeah. Family, like Anya. Hmm. She probably yeah, knows probably, so much shit. Yeah, I mean, she's young, so maybe she doesn't understand a lot of it, but, like, she exactly. probably... Pro- think she's probably heard her, her messed up, right? Um, <sighs> but I think... It, what about you? What would you not want? Oh, shit. Uh... uh choice of three. Um, invisibility, flight, teleportation, alpha. Okay, read minds. Yeah, read read my. I I would probably uh the ability to breathe underwater. Fuck that. Mm, yeah, no, 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 no. I don't want that. Well, you said well. I'm a good yeah. sweat. I don't like. I, I'm just saying the the fact that there's a superhero called Aquaman needs to not be a thing. What do you mean? There's nothing wrong with Aquaman. I with the I I feel very strongly about not going in the ocean. There's a reason. What about God? the deep from the boys? The deep. The guy who gets with a dolphin. Oh, I never seen the boys. Oh, the you boy? should. It's gets really with funny. a dolphin? Oh. Uh, like he fucks a dolphin. <laughs> you know, um, I heard a lot of good things about the boys, but man, holy shit, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Okay. Um, Sounds good. It's like it's like if there were super pa- superheroes, but really realistically, what would they do? Um, you know what? Looking at a show like The Boys and looking at Aquaman's history, I imagine that character was parodied off of Aquaman. I bet you oh, anything he, that yeah. character's oh, never taken is. seriously and he gets fucked over. No, he he you you are you are hundred percent correct. He is. Um, yeah, I knew it. See, I told you. He, That's how it is. He, That's how it is. I mean, he um pretty much the superheroes of that world. That, you know that the. The spokespeople, they're in advertisements, they got figurines, you know, they're really more about, it's more about the money. Um, oh, okay. but, but also he, 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 um, he's, he, he likes dolphins. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. No, but yeah, that'd be my superpower. I do not want to breathe underwater. There's a reason why yeah, you could go both routes. You could go evolution mm. or religion. God put us uh, on the earth because you didn't want us in the water evolution we evolved straight out of the ocean because we got the fuck out of there because we don't want to be there it's 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 fucking crazy but what would you want what would you want oh what would i want (laughs) i would probably want like oh man i would love to teleport anywhere no no same that's me because like uh yeah flights flights are super expensive (laughs) yeah so i then there's like um I think some people in comics that have teleportation powers can only teleport certain lengths away or yeah. they can only teleport to places they've been before. Yeah. So you need to at least go there once. Um Okay, so if we have to go there once, <laughs> I'd still want that because Yeah, yeah. 
I could definitely find a way to like never have a home and just like stay in hotels that are un- oh, unoccupied. Oh yeah, and just, just go bl- go in the rooms out. and just yeah. When someone's like, "Hey, that there's power. Go into this room. Just yeah, just be gone." Yeah, done. Like, yeah, exactly. Just like that, exactly. and then go different areas, different countries, all that good stuff. So. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, teleportation is probably like the go-to. Uh, yeah, for the most I think part. I think when I was a kid, I wanted to fly because I loved Dragon Ball growing up. Um. Mm-hmm. But then I realized um, you get a lot of flies in your eyes, and also you get mistaken for like an airplane, and people no, be have very you seen about seeing... like modern day militaries? No, that shit mm-hmm. is not gonna no, fly. No, no, You're no, gonna no. get taken down immediately. Yeah, you're um, gonna need to have superpowers, uh, yeah. power level over nine thousand, and, all and that like shit. invisibility that still takes work. And there's there's that whole thing that's like your clothes won't be invisible with you. You know, like in Fantastic Four, you know, her outfit goes invisible with her. But yeah. when she's wearing regular clothes, um, it was she's she, she, yeah, well, she has to take her clothes off. So yeah. there's that issue too. <laughs> um, I feel like whoever wishes they want invisibility, invisibility, they they mm-hmm. they're, they're they're pervs. Because <laughs> that's all you can do. You can, what the fuck are you gonna do with invisibility? You're not gonna do anything. Um, I imagine some people would steal stuff, but like if you can't make the thing you're stealing invisible too, then what's the point? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're just gonna be floating along. Like, yeah. Come on now. <clears throat> yeah. No, it, so, yeah that, that, that's invisibility is for like very far, like like for group individuals that are part of groups and for hentai characters. That's about it. So, uh, yeah. but yeah, no, I would definitely if I were to have a fun one, I would probably talk to animals. Um. Oh, like what? Like um. Like uh. The like Doctor Doolittle. Oh, yeah. I was thinking Nigel Formberry's kid, um, Eliza. I don't know who. Who? Wait, what the fuck? You don't know the Formberries? The wild Formberries? Do you remember no. that kid that was like, oh my god! Carl was, okay, I. Did you? Okay, I was no, no. a. Terranius, I was a Disney kid too, but I still knew who the Formberries were. I watched Disney and Nickelodeon, but I was way more a Disney kid, but I still knew. Still knew the no, Formberries. No, I didn't. You might have to look it up for me. I don't know. She, she's saying that she showed me a clip once. Nigel Formberry not... is uh is the dad in it, and he's got this huge nose. Where is it from? Nickelodeon. Yeah, it was Nickelodeon. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm not sure. But yeah, I would probably talk to animals. She's looking up something. What is it? Oh, okay. I've seen that guy before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigel with the mustache, huge nose. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, I've seen him before. I've never seen the show though. Never. So, but I've seen that character before. I didn't know it was called Nigel Thornberry. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would talk to animals because you know humans are boring. So and and I think animals have some. Yeah, more but they probably say. say some weird stuff like. And that'd be funny. <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh, oh. And that'd be funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and move on to the next question. Okay. What was your first f- your first console and video game you remember playing and beating? Well, my family had a lot of consoles before I was born, so... They were um, gamers? Damn. My dad was. He was very into Tomb Raider, and he had he had all these folders where he, print, he printed off the walkthroughs, um, and he printed off the cheat codes. And I remember him playing Tomb Raider, and when you put the cheat code in... um, Oh, the screen's gone black. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that was... Um, that was <clears> sorry. <throat> yeah. Oh, no worries. Um, when when uh, you put the cheat code in on Tomb Raider... Uh-huh. Um, Lara Croft does this like <sighs> sound effect to let you know that the cheat's gone in. Oh, so, uh- <laughs> that's that's w- what I remember from my dad playing video games. But he he even had a SNES, so like we were playing like Mario Kart old style, like when I was a kid. Oh, that's um, cute. All right, but I you know I I loved Pokemon growing up. I think one of the biggest games, you know, actually, well, I guess Pokemon was a game I beat as a kid all the time. So same, but same. there was someone told me. They said, Aura, if you beat the Elite Four a hundred times, you get to build your own gym. So I was like, oh, Oh, okay. my God. You you got bamboozled, <laughs> too? Yeah. I, I used to think that all the time. I, I got caught with the, the, the Mew under the truck thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that one. I know that one. Um, Interesting. A yeah, hundred times. Po- Jeez. Yeah, Pokemon games and stuff, I remember. I, <laughs> I loved Pokemon growing up, and I still love Pokemon today. 
But we talked about Pokemon earlier, but yeah. Oh yeah, whole yeah, Pokemon like dude. I could talk about Pokemon for hours, dude. But but if it's not Pokemon, I guess things like I when I was really young, I never compl- I had a lot of Final Fantasy games, but I never completed them. Uh-huh. Um, but Final Fantasy X, I completed. Um, oh. I loved it when I was really younger. Um, Final Fantasy X Part Two. Mm, if we're going even older, Crash Bandicoot games. Um, yeah, Crash Bandicoot Three was really good. Um, I tried recently to play Pepsi Man. Oh, you're right. All right, sorry about that. Had to uh, no my, my my thing ran out of a battery. Oh, so. that's all right. No, that's okay. I, that's my fault. So, uh, new 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 gadgets got me uh, uh, slipping on a few things. But anyways, that's all right. Uh, but yeah, uh, Pokemon is great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Big fan of How it. about you? My first console uh, was probably the either the Game Boy Color or the Nintendo <gasps> sixty four. My brother yeah. got his Game Boy Color stolen. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I would hate that. Oh, you know what? There was one time. Oh, my God. I, so there was one time I went to, uh, I grew up in Puerto Rico, and I had this Game Boy Advance. No, SP. So, and mm. it was a special edition one. It had like some crazy ass design in the front, special edition. Yeah. And I had Sonic Advance on there. <gasps> and Sonic I love. Sonic Advance. I love those games. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Sonic Advance 2 when I just played as Cream and you just, just send your little child to kill everything. Easy. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Oh, my God. We I used to play uh, Sonic. Uh, Ad, uh, ad, not adventure, ad, adventure battle? No, no, no. Sonic, Sonic Battle. I think is what it is. Mm. A Game Boy game that was kind of like a fighting game. It was freaking sick. So I had that game and the new Game Boy. I went to Chuck E. Cheese, lost my Game Boy, did not stop crying for three hours. Mm. And my dad bought me a new one. The, well, well, the the good thing about my brother's okay, it's not good that my brother had his Game Boy Color stolen. Uh-huh. My mom bought him a new one. But she bought the limited edition Pikachu Pokemon one, and um, he didn't want it, <laughs> so I still have it all these years. Oh, you still so... have it? Oh, that's a cool memento. Yeah. yeah, I have a lot of um, I, I well, it's weird. Like a lot of my some of my consoles were were given to me in weird ways. Like for example, my I got my GameCube only because my brother swapped his mobile phone for it, and then oh, he didn't really? even want it. So I got a game. I got a GameCube for free. So <laughs> <laughs> a GameCube for just like that. Just uh, yeah. Free. And I didn't even know until recently the the handle part is so you can carry it. I just thought it was part of the design. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that until later as well. Like my God, there's so many things that I didn't realize. Like for example, the PS2 logo. Like if you turn mm. it, you could have it be in like portrait mode, pretty much. If your PS2 is in portrait mode, oh, standing yeah. up. You can switch you can, the you logo. Can lo- the little like um, because it's like the little emblem thing on yeah, the side. Yeah, the right? emblem. That's what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can you can twist it. Yeah, it's things like that. I never know. knew, but <laughs> yeah. Me. Oh man, I love Simpsons Hit and Run. There's so many old games. All right, let's go yeah. ahead and move on to the next question here. Okay. What's your favorite smell? Oh. Popcorn. You know Ooh, that's a good one. Cinemas are really expensive, but like um going to the cinema and just the smell of popcorn is just so enticing to me. Okay, so hear me out. These perfume and, and um cologne adverts, the perfume adverts are like oh uh, j'adore. Like some j'adore. sexy woman like you know, stroking her skin and j'adore. maybe a flower. They don't even say the word the like the smell, what it smells like. Uh-huh. They're just like Ah, oh, the new fragrance from Chanel, and then and then the cologne <laughs> adverts are like some guy um with his suit or his shirt undone, and then he's being stroked by a load of women. Or just scent. Johnny Depp. Yeah, yeah, the new scent from Paco Rabanne or something, and and but like I don't want to buy that. You, at least tell me how it smells. Is it fruity? Is it you know? Is it like a you never know? Smell? You you Me? never know. Yeah, and some of these smell like the like one of my favorite perfumes was literally a Beyonce one that in the shape of an apple because it smelled like apples. Um, because I definitely prefer citrusy smells. Uh-huh. Um, but 
popcorn is so enticing. I'm sorry. If you smell like popcorn, I'm going to sniff you. I, I I could be full. I could go to Korean barbecue, a buffet, shabu shabu, whatever the <gasps> case may be. And it doesn't wow. matter. I'm going to eat popcorn if I smell it anywhere in the vicinity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, every time I eat it, though, I choke. But I love popcorn. Me too. I, I, I can't. It, oh. it's, it's a, I think a lot of people do, but like I, I cannot. I actually want to go to the movies today. <laughs> Maybe after this. Uh, and go last get some time popcorn. I, went, I had, had such a bad time last time I went. What'd you watch? Well, the movie wasn't bad. There was kids behind me um, kicking and, and shouting at me and, and being really nasty. And I complained. But before the, the, like, the guys at the work there could do anything, I just walked out because I was so sad. My mom Oof. entered her like, okay, it's like a good Karen, sort of like, you know, a, a, a good Karen, a righteous Karen. A she righteous, down, I've never heard yeah, of a righteous she, Karen, but sure. She, yeah. she, she <laughs> drove back down to the cinema and she got very angry at them. Apparently, my friend who works at the cinemas told me they have to refund so many tickets because of kids, like kicking the backs of chairs and being nasty. Oh, God. Um, and she got me four free tickets to Whoa. watch any movie I want and they don't expire. So What movie was um, that that you watched that got ruined? Oh, I watched Barbie, but I've watched it Aww. again since then and I loved okay. it. I loved I loved it. It was great. Um but these just the thing is that really was like scary is like these kids started taking out their phones and I thought they were going to film me because I feel like in this day and age kids can just be like, "Oh, look, I got a phone. I'm going to put you on the internet and turn you into a Karen." <laughs> so like I f you feel a bit powerless, right? Um, mm. and they're kids. What are you gonna do? You can't say anything to them because they're kids. So, um, I hate. Yeah, kids. so I, I truly <laughs> despise. I, Dude, I don't the other hate day, them, but the like, other they day, were mean to me. I, 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 I was this. I didn't. I wasn't this close, but I, in my mind, I was this close to punting a kid. The, that's the I thing. You can't this close, but and I can't. I, I, I'm not going to. Obviously, but in my head, yeah. I'm like, I, w I wish it was legal to punt you. Because Bro, in, in my town, there's this thing that kids keep doing called happy slapping. And they would, like, hit an adult and then film it and then run off and be like, you can't touch me, I'm a kid. Um, you oh, can't call the cops God. on me because I'm a kid. Um, but they were filming it. And that's one of my pet peeves, actually. Um, people just filming other people in public and just annoying them me for, for videos. Oh, my God. I hate it. Yeah. Like there's this there's, there's like people that like um there's nice people just like hey sorry um I'm filming a video are you okay with being in the shot do you want me to move or anything that's fine yeah that but that's, then people, that's fine people getting annoyed when they're trying to film and then you, just because someone walked past just like dude you, you it's public you can't control what other people do uh, but then yeah. there's there's this there's little there's shits who just think they've got they they they're just filming randomly people in shopping centers or causing mayhem. And it's just like, where the fuck are your manners, dude? So yeah, I I don't want to go back to the cinema, but if I do go to get you know you know get my free tickets to use, I will go at eleven p.m. when they are in bed. <laughs> Amen. Well, you know what? I actually I, I I keep thinking about this because like, I, I I am I an asshole for thinking this? All right, let me give you a situation real quick, and we'll move on okay. to the next question here. Am I an asshole for this? Okay. The other day, I went to like a buffet style like place. We went to go get salad in particular because the salad buffets are really good. And I really mm. enjoy those. So after I'm done eating all my food and I got everything, I wanted to get some ice cream. And boy, I don't know what it is, but I, it, this is okay. There was a kid in front of me and the kid was had a brother. And the brother was helping out the kid. I'm like, okay, that's cute. You know, brother stuff. Their brother, brother and stuff <laughs> like that. And uh, the brother finished helping out the, the kid. It's like, oh, do you want like vanilla, chocolate? It's like, I want both. It's like, okay, I want puts two things in the soft serve machine. Oh, God. Uh, the soft serve machine. And uh, I kind of, my camera ran out of battery. That's fine. Uh, soft serve machine. And then all of a sudden, once he was done with his bowl, like the, the little kid's bowl, went out. And you know how the, the soft serve, there's like a little part dangling a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Of ice cream. The kid literally goes and starts freaking grabbing the ice cream. 
and I'm just sitting there with my bowl, ready to get some ice cream as well. Oh, wait, is this the older kid? No, this is the young kid. Oh, okay. The older brother oh. went off to get some, some, some how, toppings how or something. Old do you think, how old do you think the kid was? Like two, three. Then I don't... Uh, I think this is just like, you were allowed to be annoyed about it, but like... It's it's one of well. I wasn't like, just annoyed. I wanted to literally punt the kid. <laughs> okay, I would I would say it two and three. You can't be annoyed because if you were a little kid and you saw a big ice cream machine and ice cream dangling from it, you would do the same. That's that's what two to three. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Lex Tutor. That's what two to three year old kids do. They are, they see don't you're nice. You're 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 really good. They don't good know boundaries. It. They they just. Okay, but like, if it's a thirteen-year-old kicking you in the back of the chair, I could understand your feelings. Oh yeah, like, absolutely. It, like, it, it, two two to three-year-olds don't even know. Um, they they are brutally honest until they get to like ten. Kids, they have no filter. They they yeah. don't think about the consequences of their actions. And it's more of a case that um, if that happened to me, I would have just been like, I would just called over a staff and be like, hey, would you mind getting this kid's parents or like. Hey, would you mind cleaning this? The kid was just literally touching it. That's what I would have done. But you, you, you're, you're valid in your in your annoyance. But ye, punting the kid, no. <laughs> yeah, like I was, like I was definitely in my mind. I was thinking of sweeping this kid and just like, ha ha ha. Yeah. Don't like, do that seriously, shit. Seriously. <laughs> if okay, if you were. I'm okay, not gonna do that. You... By the way, I just want to clarify. I'm not gonna do anything like that. These are just, you know, it's like the, the intrusive <laughs> thoughts kick in. Sometimes, okay, but the you know, the kid course, goes like this. If you're alone and you see an ice cream machine, one of the ones with the soft serves where you pull the le the lever, if you're alone, would you stick your head under it? Because yeah. I would. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And you're I an would. adult, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I pay taxes. That kid doesn't. Fuck that uh, but kid. He, okay? he will one day, and by the time he's paying taxes, the world will be a lot worse. So. You Hopefully know, I'll be house, gone by then. <laughs> house prices be bad now. Think about that little kid. He he. You know. <laughs> Anyways, Let him enjoy being a kid. <laughs> yeah, that's that's see that's why you're so nice, Aura, and that that's why she's so oh, great. Like she's so great. He, he, and stuff. Elon has a good point though. At least he didn't put his mouth on it. I swear, if the brother didn't call him over, I'm pretty sure he would have. I'm pretty sure. Anyways, that's just me, my, my brain and stuff like that. But that's why I'm not going to have, like, I don't have kids. That This is, I, I'm. Wait, I'm Kevin's not your kid. child? No, absolutely not. That's, that's my girlfriend's kid. So, yeah, but you're raising Kevin together. No, I'm not. I'm just here. Oh, yeah, wow. I'm just here. You need to, st you really are not the stepdad who stepped up, are you? No, absolutely not. I'm not <laughs> stepping up for, for, for no, no pug. Okay. <laughs> That no, absolutely not. <laughs> it's that's it. It's all right, Kevin. Kevin's dad, Kevin James, will step up. He'll he'll come back into his life and take care of him. You know. <laughs> all right, let's move on to the next question here. <laughs> Can Kobe be able to find the Lockless? But is what inspired the Opera GX theme for Wait, your design? Wait, can Cole be able to find the Loch Ness Monster? What's I don't that? worry Wait. about that. I don't know why well, the hell that came in there. That that went in there. But I want to know about your design, huh, Aura? Yeah? Wow. Let me talk, let's talk about what, what inspired it, huh? Um, well, the browser is uh, predominantly red and black themed. And, you know, gaming RGB. So there's that. Um, the... the the there was a little like uh emote discord mascot sort of thing first um um that they had a little sort of like design for and um then they expanded on that and they found me a browser gremlin um to be a browser gremlin because I've always been a browser gremlin so um yeah red red and black and and rainbow you know it makes green screen really hard i've had to invent a toggle that turns off the rgb so <laughs> oh thank god yeah i imagine yeah. that can be kind of a nightmare for certain people. oh yeah it's it, it's it's uh it, you know i am i love i love being me I, uh, <laughs> but i the 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 rgb uh turn needs to be turned off sometimes Oh yeah, I, I I get that. I get that. Yeah, that that's good, and it's a really great dude. Your model is is fantastic. I love the hoodie. I I always say this about VTubers, but there's certain VTubers I need to do like apparel merch 
because their jackets are just so freaking cool. Oh, this. yeah. At the same yeah. time, making a jacket like that would not be, like... Let me, look at that let me hoodie. show you, like... Yeah, look at that hoodie. Yeah, Isn't it's nice. Great? I can take See? off the jacket and yeah. I can tell my feet. Yeah, like, why... Are you, what? No, 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 no. You'd leave those on. All right. Shoes stay on in this household, lady. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, no, it's a really great design. It's really great. Uh, who was it that 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 was your artist or rigger? Uh, uni. Yes, the artist. Yeah, yeah great. Yeah. No, absolutely fantastic artist as well. Um, but no, yeah, it's a great design. I I like the red and black. I like black and like insert color here. Or anything like my favorite color yes. scheme is like green and black. Yeah. And, oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's a good color scheme. Black goes with really anything. Good. Oh, and, and literally anything. Mm -hmm. So. All right, let's move on to the next question here. What are your top three favorite deck Yu-Gi-Oh deck archetypes? Mm. Mm. I I do kind of like, went over it a little bit, but I, I don't yeah, know if they're I your like, favorite. I like Dragon Maid and and Madolce a lot. I know I don't Dragon really, Maid, I didn't baby. really, I didn't really play them, but uh -huh. I thought they were very pretty. Okay. But I do also do like Ghost Trick. Oh, go just, ghost trick, huh? <laughs> ghost trick. <laughs> yeah, because like they they they're pretty cute. Yeah, if it's a cute deck that I can that can be okay, then I'll I like it. Okay, that's good. Now, Dragon Maid is my first deck that I I started off playing Master mm -hmm. Duel with, and I I evolved ah. my entire repertoire with Dragon Maid. So mm -hmm. I, I'm a big fan of that archetype as well. So, all yeah. right. So Dragon Maid, Ghost Trick. And Madolce. That's that's a good list. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, I'm uh, I'm just thinking of just the cutest ones. That's the but... ones you care about, so that makes sense. <laughs> that's the oh, ones what's the about. ones with the with the cars? Hang on, what's the ones with the cars? Um, cars. I liked them. There's a couple like there's trains. N no, um, it's not trains. It's cars. It's literally like car gear gear. No gear something. Um. Like, uh, yeah, like the, uh, like the... Is it roids? Is it roids? Speed oh, roids? No. F.A. I'm not 100% sure. But okay. With cars. That's good. Yeah, it, uh... Oh, no, it is roids. It is roids. Oh, speed roids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Speed roids. Actually, no, no, it's not. It's not. No, 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 it's not roids. Sorry. It's a race car one. It's a oh, race car Oh, race cars. Uh... Um, Gia, Gia, Gia? Is it that one? Yeah, no, it's Gia, it's Gia, Gia. Yeah. Okay. Those ones. I thought they were cute. <laughs> they were cute, cute cards. Yeah, see what I mean? Cute cards. Yeah. All right. All right, let's move on to the next question here. Manchester United or Manchester City? Um. I don't know what I'm this is. It, they're football teams. Oh. Um, I'm not the biggest follower of football. I'm not one of those people who uh sits in front of the, the television screaming. I'm not one of those people that goes, Did you see that load of crush display last night down the pub or anything like that? Um but my grandfather um was was a big fan of Manchester United, so I have to say Manchester United because of him. So. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, most of the time, if you don't know have a team, it's like usually your family's team or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. And my family is not big on football at all, but my grandpa really was, you know, into into football, and he really loved Manchester United, so I had to pick Manchester United. <laughs> all right, sounds yeah. good. Manchester United. There you go, fellas. So, oh, wow. Since Corpo VTubers usually debut in gens, but you debuted by yourself, is there any difference between your content versus what you would get with, a co with the content of an indie with a sponsor? That's a pretty good question. Let me... Since, VTube, since Corpo VTubers usually debut in gens, but you debut... Not all of them. Hello, man. Yeah, not, not all of them. Yeah, obviously. Not all of them. Iris. Um, but, but usually, usually, yeah. I think it's a um, it's a thing of like uh like you know, a like the the standard yeah I get it yeah. I get mm -hmm. it 
Um, is there any difference between your content versus what you would get with a content with a content of an, of an indie with a with sponsor? a sponsor? I mean, I have a lot of. I mean, a lot of indies manage themselves, right? They can't get a manager. I've seen exactly. managers, but I'd say that my my content is very like I get a lot of freedom. Um, I I get a lot of uh, kindness though given to me. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'd say like I have a lot. I have a really lovely company that you you know you may not have expected to come out with a VTuber, right? I'm sure a lot of people that are like, not. whoa, uh, my browser is a VTuber? What's going on? I can't believe it. My mind is blown. But and like, to be honest play, with you, there have been some companies that have done that. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. Keep going. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's, yeah, so, like, I, I have a great team, and, and despite the fact, that, yeah, I am their first VTuber, um, they treat me really well and understand a lot about VTubing, and uh, they, they're working really hard with me. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't know really if I, about the difference between me and. Yeah. Well, Indy with a sponsor. Yeah. Indy with a sponsor. I'd say like, I'm, I have a wonderful team and, um, wonderful manager who I'm, I'm, I'm given wonderful opportunities. So I don't know if I can say that, but I will say that like, there is a, there is a bit of a difference when you debut as a gen. Maybe mm-hmm. and, and, and there's a there directly. there's a difference yes yeah because um like when you when you're in a gen you have others to think about you work around with others you're part of a unit you have to be compatible with each other um, yeah absolutely right? yeah yeah absolutely. and there's like you know and you're working as a team um but me my team is is you know my manager and, and the opera gx family that have kindly you know taken me in and look after me yeah. so um you know it's not it's not like a it's not like a uh, a team that shows its face all the time but it's yeah. a team that's really working hard behind the scenes they, to you know help me they are very vocal on twitter though i i, I mentioned before yeah. but their their twitter <laughs> account is 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 super yeah. super sick yeah uh, and- and it's yeah. also, it's almost at a million, so that's that's amazing. But oh yeah, like you know, it's a it's a it's a you know, people may be thinking, nah, Opera GX, they can't manage a VTuber. Uh, they are managing me very well, and they are treating me super well. Like you know, did, I don't know if you guys have seen my music video for my de- my cover that I did after my debut. It was it was really 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 incredible music video made by Rumsky. And um, management helped me, you know, sort all of that and, and, you know, did so much for me. So I imagine having uh, a team behind you uh, to do like bigger projects is really nice. Yeah, and stuff like that. it is. It is really lovely. And we're working with lots of people and there's lots of fun things coming. Um, but uh, yeah, I. Um, Are you ever going to release? I, I mean, maybe, I do. Are you ever it, maybe going to release like a, an original? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That one day for sure. I'd love to do that. That'd be co- pretty cool, huh? Um, so far, it's been only been covers right now, right? Yeah, just short covers and one full cover. But um, yeah. So there is there is a difference between all of the ones, like an indie, an indie with a sponsor, someone debuting in a corpo, and someone debuting in a corpo with a gen. There's differences all of them. But it's yeah. um, y- you know, behind the scenes, I'm still part of a team. Exactly. Um, yeah. That makes that being sense. Said, like I love, I, I love all sorts of VTubers, indie, in you know, big indie, small indie, um, VTubers who debut with others, VTubers who debut by themselves. Yeah. And um, absolutely. I, I just, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I get you. No, no, no. That, that that's a good that's a good answer for the most part. It, the uh, the basically like, you know, having a a, a sponsor as an indie could be really it, it can be really tough and starting from scratch could be mm. uh pretty hard for some people but that, um, that being said there are um not so much like you know big big sponsors but like there are lots of uh companies who want to work with even some, like you know big or small they don't mind they just want to reach out and help and uh yeah um yeah I, I, that, there's a lot by, of them like that uh, you're sponsored by a cool drink right exactly um, it's the same oh, thing gamer oh, is doing a lot of, drinks, of 
Speaking of drinks, oh, oh, what is there a code I can use? Is there a code I can use to perhaps? Uh... Dude, you are the you are the best <laughs> yes man of all time. I freaking love it, dude. Dude, she's repping my Twitch Prime. She's repping my game herself. I love it, dude. She's like the greatest yes man of all time. <laughs> yes, you can use coupon code Coco K O E K O E to get ten percent off of anything on what? the store. What? No way! Wait, ten percent? And what does that include? Please <laughs> so tell <funny>. me more. <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> but yeah, no, that, that, that's a good answer. Yeah, Gamer Subs okay, does a lot of stuff with VTubers and stuff like that. So it's no great. No joke. I, ha I have Gamer Subs. I, I, I drink it. I love it. it, it I'm it's running more, uh, my favorite flavor, actually. So. What's your favorite flavor? Uh, lemon and Limeade. Lemon and Limeade. Okay. My favorite is Peach yeah. Tea. My, that's my favorite. Ooh. I love Peach Tea. It's so freaking good. How, and you said before the stream you tried Grandpa's Ashes, didn't you? Yeah, so they just barely released a brand new flavor chat. So if you do want to try it, coupon code Coco, K O E K O E. Uh, Grandpa's Ashes, <laughs> it is it is good. However, I will say about Grandpa's Ashes, it, it tastes really good actually, better than most of them. However, it stains your teeth. Oof. So, it's one of those Rinse drinks. Off, yeah, you're going to have to have a rinse or afterwards, it kind of does stain it. So it's like before Grandpa died, he left a little bit of a joke. You know, haha, <laughs> drunk my ashes, huh? All right, take that, son <laughs> of a bitch. Yeah, it, it, it's one of those flavors. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's an interesting flavor, but yeah, peach tea is my absolute favorite. But mm. anyways, yeah, let's go into the next question. <laughs> Did you see that ludicrous display last night? What was Wagner uh, thinking sending Walcott on that early? That that's a that's literally what I was saying earlier. That's a quote from my favorite one of my favorite old TV shows, The IT Crowd. And it, <laughs> it's about it's about two uh IT uh employees who know nothing about football trying to learn what phrases to um to uh to tell people to say at a to say at a football game to integrate with local pub goers that like football. <laughs> yeah, it's like going up to somebody. If you don't know anything about football, just just basically go like, "Hey, can you believe Aaron Rodgers hurt himself coming back so coming back uh switching over Pretty to much. the Jets? Ludicrous display, I tell you." <laughs> but but you got to say it in like the pub pub goer accent, the pub London goer accent. Like, Did you say that ludicrous display last night? <laughs> what was Wagner thinking sending Walker on that literally? <laughs> oh, perfect, perfect. Like that? That yeah good? okay <laughs> all right that's perfect and i think that's it i think that that's all of the the questions actually so hey to everybody who who sent in some questions thank you so much for sending in questions uh hopefully thank there were you. some good ones and stuff like that i thought it would be really fun to be able to to answer or ask and answer some questions from the for the lovely aura um but uh yeah it was uh, a lot of really good stuff there man there's got to be a day where we like bring in some cage fanatics and we just rank all the characters and for try some to reason for some reason I thought you were going to say cage fight. Oh, well, okay. You know what? Sure. <laughs> I'm down with that too. I thought you were going to say there's going to be a day where we cage <laughs> We're going to cage fight cage like fight. WWE. <laughs> <laughs> all right well aura i i know that it's it's rather late for you over there mm. so i will go ahead and send you off into the wild but i want to go ahead and thank you for coming by uh into the hole and uh talking with us and hanging out with us and uh it's been a it's been a real big blast uh talking with you learning about you and stuff like that which is what i primarily wanted um and i want to do more in the show so it's been a lot of fun, Aura. Me, I had a lot of fun. Awesome. I, I, I really am glad. So, guys, if you guys don't follow Aura, you can obviously do that. Give a uh, big shout out because you primarily stream on Twitch, right? Yeah, I'm a Twitch streamer. <laughs> yeah, Twitch streamer. Yeah, I, I've been in your streams a uh, few times and stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. you were with me playing Yu Gi Oh! The yeah, you were playing Yu Gi Oh! I'm like, mm, Yu Gi Oh! Yeah, oh. I made some terrible decisions. Yeah, you're no playing. You're playing gem knights and stuff, so I'm like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. I, I, 
I keep, it's the ones that are like, um, you must discard one card. Oh, you must destroy one card. And I'm like, wait, I'm the only one with cards on the field. Oh, oh God, no. Oh. Literacy. Oh, no. Can you believe it? Yeah, you have to destroy <laughs> a card, not an opponent's card. Can you believe it? I had to read. Yeah. This, that's the state of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, yeah. That's the state no. of Yu-Gi-Oh, pretty much. But uh, I'll go <laughs> ahead and I will let you go. Aura, once again, thank you so much. Did thank you want me to you. escort you at all? Uh, to where? Like, out of the premises. I mean, what, is there a taxi waiting for me? Where we, what? Oh, no, there's no taxi. Uber? I'm oh. just I'm just tossing your ass out. Just throwing, oh, yeah. All well, right. if you pick up the See screen, you, just... I appreciate it. All yeah, right, thanks you... for coming by. Uh, oh, okay. No, all uh... right, you know my email. You know, yeah, yeah, you help. Oh, no. All right, uh, see ya. Manager son, taskete. Uh-huh, bye. See bye, ya. Don't everyone. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. <laughs> Don't let the door hit you on your way out. All right. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I think uh, we got rid of uh, Aura there. It was great uh, what being the hell? with her. I'm, I'm still on the call. Anyways, uh, it was a pleasure uh, being with her, talking with her. It was a lot of fun uh, doing all that good jazz. I absolutely had a blast. And uh, I would love to.